How you been it together? How, how your largest view base is this here? Got it. My son Vinny Tesla Verdi. This hyper because he got a Tesla. He was wilding about the minivan. I was tight that he said that. He was feeling himself. When you told him, you called him spicy. First of all, that was wild. That's I don't wild. understand what that like, is. The conversation. However, all right, go ahead. However, because my son Vinny, Vinny got he, uh -huh. he was hyped off the Tesla. He started bad mouthing the pause the, the the minivan. It's you not was moving a like Jeffrey Dahmer, though. It's not a minivan. Honest. Why do you have a van? <laughs> it's not a minivan. A it's a truck. I don't, it's matter of fact, I don't know why it's I It's not sideburns. They burn sights. <laughs> That's <laughs> my boy. <laughs> That's my boy. No, nah, but you can say that about them all, too. Why do you have a diesel truck? You a have an F-350. <laughs> why do you have an F-350? <laughs> cameraman. What are you hauling, son? Bodies, what are you hauling man. around? No diamond. So, bodies. bodies. So, <laughs> if I come to the crib bodies. and it's stink, you're a serial killer, I'm out. Done. I'm telling you, just no, know. No Franks in the fridge. Paul, oh, God <laughs> damn it. No Jesus fr Christ. No Franks in the fridge. Oh, Frank's 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 yeah. 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 What you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? Ah, what you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? If you could change your thoughts, you could change the world. So much more to life than chasing diamonds, gold, and pearls. Lately, it's been debated that maybe I am the greatest. I'm joking, there's no debate. You can't ignore the great. See, I'ma switch the world up with my 15 seconds. Put your phone down. Yo, I did not plan on the first thing I said to Pop when he said, "Yo, I ain't got to like pr produce it." He was like, "Nah, Reg gonna do all this." I said, "All right, cool." <laughs> <laughs> Niggas had we had no clue what we was in for. Pause. <laughs> then we got Reg. Uh, pause. Son, that was not my fault. Whose fault was it? <sighs> all right, never no, mind. No, we don't have to answer. You recorded us with a Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that think is a about Game Boy it. Color. But think about it. The Game Boy. Think about it. From day one. Yes. When have you ever seen me set up a camera? Never. But you say, yeah, I, I do edits, bro, for for a living. I, I yeah. Do a lot of that's audio. Oh, okay. oh, I ain't know that. No, no, I, that's I, audio. You right? I never differentiated. Yeah. My fault. Hold on. Relax yourself, man. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Relax. Calm down, son. The first episode. <laughs> you go get this nigga out of character yeah. with his beret on. <laughs> Chill out, man. Relax, son. The first episode, he did say he edit video. That's what I thought. You said that you edit video. That's what I thought. Not on no, like, right? when, he when he niggas video, he said fix audio. audio. He said he fixed right. audio. You're right. He did say he fixed audio. I said audio. You did. So I don't know what you're you talking got about. But how many sense? listeners? Them three listeners a year? It's a different level of shit. That's why I said you used to that. <laughs> Hold on. So, what are we talking so, about? All right, man. I guess. <laughs> you're right. Hold on. I don't know why I argue with this <laughs> thing. Intro is... Welcome back to what you thought. I love about. your three listeners, my nigga. I love them just as much as you it's do. It's definitely not three listeners. The Holy so Trinity. Four. My four. <laughs> my four. I forgot about the last one. <laughs> so if four niggas in here, listen, they'll double the numbers. Though. That's what I'm saying. I'm about to start listening. I'm going to subscribe, son. Send me the links, son. Pause. My four. My four. crazy. I got three you. people on camera and two views. That's what I'm saying. Like, damn, they didn't like, watch the The nigga in the shit didn't watch it? He owned the video. <laughs> yeah, they watch it. They how you, watch, how you it together. How, how your largest view base is this nigga here? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. My son Vinny Tesla Verde. This nigga hyped as shit because he got a Tesla. He was wilding about the minivan. I was tight that he said that. He was feeling himself. When you told him, you called him spicy, first of all, that was wild. That's I don't wild. understand what that like, is. The conversation. However, all right, go ahead. However, go ahead. Because my son Vinny, Vinny got, he, uh -huh. he was hyped off the Tesla. He started bad mouthing the fucking paws, the, the, the minivan. It's you not was moving a like Jeffrey Dahmer, though. It's not Be a honest. minivan. Why do you have a van? <laughs> it's not a minivan. That's a crazy it's a truck. I don't, it's matter of fact, I don't know why. It's I not sideburns, they burn sights. <laughs> that's <laughs> my boy. <laughs> that's my boy. Nah, but you can say that about them all, too. Why do you have a diesel truck? You a have an F 350. <laughs> why do you have an F 350? <laughs> You're a fucking cameraman. What are you hauling, son? Bodies, what are you hauling man. around? No diamond. So, bodies. bodies. So, <laughs> if I come to the crib and it stink, you're a serial killer. I'm out. Done. I'm telling you, just no, know. No Franks in the fridge. Paul, oh, God <laughs> damn it, my nigga. No Jesus Frank. Christ. No Franks in the fridge. In, oh, Frank's, 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 Frank's official. Yep. Nah. Frank of course, I didn't even Frank say Frank. I wasn't even doing that. I just oh. said, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jesus, my I'll nigga. Get down like that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, good taste of music. Pause. I don't know what's going on. Yo. <laughs> no taste at all. Pause. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> it wasn't him. Whoever the, the music person was for that series, for the show. they playing some. You yeah, talking yeah. about when he hit the beer and started rocking? <laughs> 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 the soundtrack was I. Right, I'm just saying. Sure, my man. He said, let me see your moves. And he went to like, just cross applesauce on the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, but you got to. Hold on. If the nigga asked, yo, what moves you going to bust pause to get him up out of there? My son said, get the camera, Jeff. Get the camera, Jeff. Get the camera, Jeffrey. Get the camera, Jeffrey. Now go and get the camera, Jeffrey. Get the camera, Jeffrey. That nigga Jeff said, hold on, hold on. Ah, I got the camera, bitch. Like, yo, the nigga moved so fucking lightning fast, he didn't have a chance, my nigga. Yo. That, that nigga was ill, son. The nigga, yo, get, get the camera, Jeff. Get the camera, Jeff. <laughs> Did That's the craziest shit ever. Did y'all peep he was really just doing a, Nepo a Napoleon Dynamite impersonation? That's who, who, like. son? That's what, the, that's when what I started watching, I was like, that's, that's Napoleon like. Dynamite. The Jeffrey Dahmer. Dahmer, yeah. Dahmer, Dahmer, yeah. Basically, it's yeah, mad yeah. Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone told me, because I never watched the show, but someone told me, like, his mannerisms and everything, because apparently there's a real life interview you could watch with this nigga. Yeah. And, like, word for word, everything he said in the show and mannerisms and everything matches up exactly with that interview. I don't believe so. I don't know. I, I haven't mean, watched it. I think he, I think I he did his show. thing. Like, he did great yeah. pause, but it was like a totally different nigga than Jeffrey. You feel me? Get the you camera, Jeff. The no, no Dama, though. <laughs> Dama. I'm saying you don't want a Dama. Superman? No Dama, my nigga. <laughs> oh, I mean, can you see that? Pause. There you go. Did what? you guys watch the interview he did? Of course, nigga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I never saw it. Um, welcome back to What You Thought, the show about everything and nothing at the same time. I'm Darnell. The Express is moving. Here we go. Dama would have definitely got, got that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You a victim. If Dama was still around, you on the menu, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what's, what's this? What you chefing? All natural nigga. That's what he would have said. Son had an affinity for blacks. You would have been on the menu. Yeah. He'd be like soul food. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas yeah. do tell you to stop trying shit, man. Pause. He would have had you after fucking brewski. Nigga, oh, yeah. Word. Nigga, pop the brewski on you, slide on you. Yo, Alpha Memphis, I like that song, bro. Whoa. <laughs> nigga said, yo, you want to go You want to go hit my living room and do some whippets? You would have went. You would have fucking went. Fuck you over there for? Why are you over there? <laughs> nigga backed out some, some helium. <laughs> <laughs> nigga had Alpha Memphis off the helium. That's crazy. Oh, man. How you go with that, nigga, man? <laughs> I hate Jeffrey for that. Oh, so man. Mm. oh, Make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. Don't be broke. Hit the like, comment, subscribe, the notification, the bell. All that shit. New merch coming soon. Check the site. No damas on the way. That's a fact. <laughs> never never dama. Word. He got the Blunt Brothers back in the building. You heard the Doobie Naive. Bros. Yeah, what's good? Yeah. You ain't gonna put your hands together? Everybody else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't clap for that, son. Pause. This thing is out of pocket. <laughs> Alpha Memphis, what you thought, huh? You heard? Uh -huh. You know my birthday cake actually said that. What? Express is moving. Pause. That's crazy. They really put that on my birthday cake this year. <laughs> How you turned 44 years old, though, and had a birthday party? Pistol Pete Maravich. <laughs> My son really turned 44 and blew them shits out individually. Pause. <laughs> Bradley was there because the kids were fire That's crazy. Cool. I was and you went? That's <laughs> wild. That you did. Was, now you went. I was mandated to invite me. You was mandated. <laughs> you was mandated as a fireman. That's how you found out about what? it. He pulled up like, yo. Yo, hold on. I know that address. <laughs> that's that's, that's the other shit. That's wild, son. Nigga had a 44th birthday party. <laughs> Come on, son. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I'm like, thinking about it. So, like, yeah. they bought a cake for your birthday party. Yeah. Yes. So. Who's they, though? Let's think, let's, let's bask in this. So. Who's they? So it's like your family that's the them. party, your mom them the party. My mom, Two my of them niggas. <laughs> Two of those niggas. It's my mom, my girlfriend, my brother. I mean, Don't put nice. you on in this. No, he, ain't had, he ain't even know about it until he found out. Don't do that. Don't put you on in this shit. That's fine. No yeah, he just happened to live there. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga was just going to the bathroom, son. He said, oh, y'all niggas in here blowing candles out of shit? Why it's so dark? You heard? <laughs> nigga was downstairs watching Dama. He had no clue. This nigga here. <laughs> oh, man. We got it. Derek, a.k.a. Hands in the building. You heard? We got straight from Paris. Hey, bonsoir, <laughs> niggas. Bonsoir. 
Niggas in Paris is crazy. Right off the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to shout out real quick. I got a black brand on today called Independent Hustler Clothing. At Independent Hustler Clothing. The hat is from Paris. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> the hat you is from Gare de Leon. <laughs> Some of the shops. But the shirt is Independent Hustler Clothing. At Independent Hustler Clothing. And um, independenthustler.myshopify.com. So, you know I mean? Support black business. That's what's up. For sure. Some of those those beings in those in, the, in those photos is crazy. Oh, I got more. Beings is mad. <laughs> Some of those individuals yeah, in those photographs is crazy, what and I know what you're doing. Individuals is better. I know what you're doing. What are you talking because, about? That's my job. Because what you do is you put a regular photograph at first, and then, and then you I already push like because right. you my dog. I'm gonna like whatever you post. I appreciate but then it. when you scroll over to number seven in the fucking <laughs> photo. You know what I'm saying? Line up. It's one of the beings. And I'm like, yo, my nigga, you're out of pocket. Why you got me liking this shit? I got a lot more to come to. Nah, nah, nah. Pause. pause. That's crazy. Leave them shits in Paris, my nigga. A lot lot of great content (laughs) from Paris. Come on, son. And we got the most fire DJ ever, DJ Physics in the building. You heard? What's going on? (laughs) Fire DJ. DJ. Firefighter. See what he did? I see what he did. I'm getting better at this. Mm. He wrote that shit two weeks ago when you was missing. <laughs> it's like I miss Brad. That's crazy. That was the start of the. You always bring letter. it back to the to the flag. <laughs> <laughs> Don't write no poems. <laughs> My son, stay moving like a Briton cigarette. <laughs> like, a, like a dom. <laughs> Why is there's always them British cigarettes, if you notice, though? Oh, Why? my God. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Yo, wait, isn't that crazy? Yo, you, was, you was there in your Twitter <laughs> yeah, going crazy. Nah, it's oh, just no. like, dog, I'm just trying to... This just sounds like God, don't you? <laughs> 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 the nigga was like, the nigga said beings, right? And I feel like that went over everybody's head. I was just like, all right. But I'm starting to learn if I fuck with something, I'm, it's like niggas are bugging. Cause Yo. like, when I agree with you, I'm just like, yeah, niggas is tripping. You was wildin' last week, but the Patreon, your mic was off. So they ain't catch you, that was your greatest. Yeah, that was, Yo, you that went was, that crazy. Might be, that might be for the best. If they, then they, you know what I mean? You, yeah. went, you went nuts. Yeah, Boy, that might be for the you best. You dropped a hundred. Yeah. You heard? <laughs> yeah. Nigga went 100, triple, double, and all of that, and then they cut your fucking mic off. I was so yeah. tight. You did that on purpose. You know the engineer, don't you? Nah, nah. How'd you, how'd you pull that off, my nigga? Did you notice that his mic is off for that? Yeah. I, it was an accident. I noticed at the, at the, after It the worked episode. out, but it was an Nigga, accident. you put a call in to them Chinese people. Yeah. <laughs> Her. <laughs> Ni hao. Her. <laughs> I said, damn it. So I couldn't wait for that footage to drop. <laughs> If it's up, then it's not pause, huh? Pause, this nigga's crazy. Yeah, man. And what were you on? Explain to the people. Huh? Explain to the people what you were doing just now. Damn, high school principal? Oh, no. Like, God damn. Yeah, well, make a book report. Yeah, you need to know. <laughs> it's like, read for the classroom? That's what it, it, was, was it looked phone. mad interesting, whatever it was. Well, it was it was very interesting, but like... The king of candy on. crush, Reg. Damn, that's crazy. Here we go. Yeah, let's call it, let's call it that. Read for the classroom is insanity. Yo, my daughter wanted me to ask you. She said, hold on. <laughs> Why did you start laughing already? Because <laughs> I know it's going to be crazy. Nah, real talk, son. She said, yeah. Jeff Bezos is worth $141 million, a billion. Uh-huh. And there's only 7 billion people. Uh-huh. So how, explain the math to her real quick. <laughs> but we already did this. Oh, no, nah, but you didn't. You never explained it. We just laughed you out the room and shit, Paul. We never figured it out. Niggas ain't laughing me out the room. Nah, I realized the, the mistake that was made no, in but, the math. But, but there's $141 billion. I was so, billion, I was so focused on the point, mm. I, I went straight past the math. Mm. Mm. The point doesn't doesn't isn't negated by the mm. bad math. But whatever, man. Like we watching growth. Too. We watching growth on camera, man. Come on. Like that Clap side too. Red, man. Clap Talk to this nigga, man. Clap to growth on camera. Not Talk to this shit, by camera, you niggas. Let's side for that all you want. <laughs> Pause. That's crazy. Yeah. What wow. you say? Wow. Not he's clapping he's clapping not clapping for growth on the camera. Oh, yeah. My son, man in America, is crazy. <laughs> nigga went to came back came with a vengeance. Back to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my son. Yeah, I'm not clapping for that. My son, my son, Shimothy, came back over here wild. Chill out, my nigga. Calm down. Bonsoir. <laughs> and we got the... <laughs> <laughs> nigga said bonsoir like a baddie, though. Pause. Bonsoir. Ew, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is wrong with you? That's how they say it. Bonsoir. Ew. Bonsoir. 
I ain't never going over there. I, I can already see what it is. Last time you were there, didn't you almost get into a fight with a, a yes. street vendor? That was Milan. For oh. a fucking phone charger. <laughs> Ended up beating up one of the fucking the niggas on the, on the gondola. What's that shit called? Gondola? Gondola. Nigga beat up the gondola driver. Pause. That's crazy. I had no incidents this time, thankfully. Word. Right. Thankfully. And we got the vested vigilante himself. Pop you heard? Hey. I'm about to come out with a line of these shit. You should. You should. Oh, before we start, where, where Alpha Memphis go? Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo. You got a show. Let's get it. You want to tell people where your show is? What's oh, going on? shit. I got a show October 7th, North Carolina. We in Charlotte with it. With the social contract. We going live. Let's get it. Fire. Go. We'll get back to you with the venue. My son. Yeah, he high right now. My he son, Keith Turbin. He right you heard? Right <laughs> Out here. Yeah. <laughs> Show him the turban too, son. Fuck it. They got to see this. They got to see the turban. My son Keith <laughs> Turbin really is out here. He got a show. Word. <laughs> Call me now. Hey. Hey. Call me now. Hey. Hey. Call me now. Hey. Call me now. Hey. Hey. Call me now. Hey. Bumble horn. <laughs> That's crazy. Bumble horn. The Nick Cannon. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga moving like Nick. Nick, Nick, Nick. Oh, man. B-Nard. Where's the venue? Oh, shit. In North Carolina. North Carolina. Oh, all right. Uh, just yeah. somewhere. Just go outside North Carolina and hear the music. Bro. As soon as you hear music, that's where you're going to be. That's where he's Bro. at. If he not ask, he not there, go to the next place you hear music. With, with the nigga Hootie from the Blowfish, he going to be over there, too, they said. <laughs> <laughs> word. Darius, Darius Rucker. Oh, that word. Name. Darius Rucker. That nigga's word. supposed to be October over there. October 7th, we at the Skylark Social Club, 7 p.m., North Carolina. Let's go. Let's Beat go. It. All right. What you thought, huh? huh? Word. Uh -huh. You performing now? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Sure. Oh, man. Uh oh. Hit. <laughs> do the remix of that shit. Yeah. I need to do a remix of that shit. It's a fact. I just want to, whenever you put a, a the next project out, I want an uh, interlude on there. Gotcha. All right. You got to let me talk some shit on one of the yeah, albums. Yeah, we man. have to. Gotcha. Uh, uh -huh. Amar. What's up? Paris. Uh, quick recap of the week in Paris. Oh, Paris shit. Fashion Week. Um, no incidents this time. Paris was real cool. It was my first time really spending time in Paris. I really enjoyed it. I'll probably be back in January. Um, What's January? Weekend. That's another fashion week? Yeah. Uh, January, June, September. It's, it's all year round, really. Um, but Paris was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed Paris. It reminded me of New York a little bit, to be honest with you. Um, I'm telling you, Paris was cool. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Got us looking nuts on here, son. <laughs> <Now Paris>. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Got us looking I've been, crazy. I've been to Paris, but again, Mad flower picking and skipping. Well, I, I mean, I was, I was. He went to the piece. I was around fashion. fashion. Yeah, you might. Have been, I was around Fashion Week, so it was. Again, it was very reminiscent of New York, mm. but um, Paris was a lot of fun. So it, I enjoyed it. it. Like crazy in Paris, I feel like, bro. Like, I've uh, heard that. Uh, I got treated very well, to be right, honest with you. Up. Holy but shit. you was never mind. <laughs> <laughs> say that for the OnlyFans, my nigga. <laughs> Niggas is treating and being only fans. Yeah, say that for your page, my nigga. Nah. Extreme. 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 Well. <laughs> nigga left a tip on the table. I mean, Hold one on. thing I will say, and this was something I, uh, I saw in Milan, I don't think Pop would like a lot of y'all probably wouldn't like because it ain't a lot of joints out there that you would what? be interested in. No joints. Oh. Not that you would be interested in. They wild foot. You know, you know how they say like ugly Americans, like we're we're heavy, we overeat, and everything yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. That's it's the, the culture there is different. You can see the way it. they eat you is different. The yeah, you could definitely yeah. see it. They live different. It's everywhere I would go. Everybody on bikes, riding bikes. Yeah, they bike everywhere. Mass public thin. transport. They're public so they're transportation. Like mad anorexic. Like a lot of lot of slim Ooh. joints. A lot of model looking joints. They real fly. That's not like heaven. Nah. No, dog, I was you like it. Of I was. Everybody say I wanna be. I wanna you know. They real fly. But, Evan uh, said, "Yeah, it wasn't a lot. Yeah, I of can't do it. That's not a lot of heavy weight. But slender pop is anything under two fifty. I mean, fact, that's fair. Yeah, you ain't finding it. Slender, yeah. slender, you ain't, yeah, you ain't yeah, finding yeah. it. Yeah. A lot of beautiful women, but you, it wouldn't, might not be your type, pop. Bro. Yeah, they would have to like, you would need like five bitches why you of Ultron the, together. Why you capture the beret, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but Paris is cool. Can't wait to go back. All right. Um, and sad news, unfortunate news. You heard about the." P and B Rock, the yeah. suspects that they got. Dogs. I heard they got <laughs> the nigga that shot him, the father, the mother, the stepmother, 
Is and, that mother too? too? And the, the mother and yeah. the, and, got yeah, the mother too. Mother and the foster accessory. kids that live in the spot because they heard overheard some shit. That's her dick told on everybody, my nigga. Everybody. Who told the foster kids? I'm assuming it was a 17 year old because how do they know anything? 17 year old is the one that that actually did. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not about they to said, listen. That's like what they I said. Saying. They said they was allegedly. The seventeen-year-old <laughs> is flipping out. My son is in there, just back flipping all yeah. over the place oh, oh, on everybody. In the can. In the, it, not the even first. there. They said he was. It was on the, the way, and he said, "Listen, I know some things." Mm. And I heard the dad supposedly witnessed a, a Yami in like the nineties, and he said, oh. "I gotta, I gotta get out of the jail Damn. free card." Past that, not knowing that the deal wasn't on the table yet, There's so no deal. he just gave out a free Yami. He's still going anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That get out jail free card was going stale in his pocket. He wasted that shit. That's, that's crazy. Why he, that's why he agreed to mad do preservatives. Place. Mad preservatives on that shit. He said, "I got this forever," and this shit ran out. That shit is tragic. And then you said there was accessories. Yeah. Well, basically, what I what I've heard is that they all started flipping because they all getting hit with charges. Uh, mm-hmm. The mother got hit with the charges, an accessory to murder and a uh, robbery. And she because wasn't even in cuffs yet. Was crying. Right. On the news, broke down. Yeah. What? Because. Nigga, they learned everything on that ride to the jail. They learned everything. Yeah, nigga, they know, they know where Jimmy Hoffa at. Yeah, they, yo, they found everybody. out everything. Them niggas must have bugged Biggie out when it was, like, it was like four. All of a sudden, it's about to be a new explained to Biggie and Pac Def. They know everything. Every hip hop crime has been solved. Anything, it was, son. It was bugged out because it was like four separate KFC deliveries to the precinct that was. Yeah, she got a new, she got, out, she got like information everything. on the new TDE album. That's just crazy. All types of shit. <laughs> <laughs> she got everything, son. So the. The way I understand, because I only browse the shit really quick. I need the me. son was the shooter, and then the father Wait was the getaway minute. driver. Allegedly. 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 You know Raj got the details. Well, I don't. Like, I read the same articles everybody else read. No, no, nigga, we don't have the report you got. <laughs> <laughs> we did not get that. We don't have, we're not privy to that information. It's not a report. It's like public news. Well, after the crime, they all kind of fled. So the father was actually caught in Vegas. Vegas, where? So and that's, like, that's as far as he can make it? Like, my that's nigga, that's the next joint over. Four hour drive. He even go far. Three, four hour drive. Um, yeah, in his defense, though, Vegas started... was a world away. That nigga looked like he never left L.A. before. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but that's why they started flipping. <laughs> Nobody wanted to get stuck with that. Yeah, that's yeah. why they started part of why they started flipping. That's, that's how he understand. got caught because they told where he was. So, me and Brandon were having this conversation before you got hit, and Brandon was like, "How that wasn't the seventeen-year-old's first time doing that." Yeah. Right, and I was like, "I don't know because if his the the goal is to rob him, you know what I mean? You don't you don't want to catch first. the murder charge." I mean, when you black, son. But he shot a nigga. Before he robbed him. Oh, yeah. shell. That's what allegedly. You know, the you know they got the. Yeah, he also got. Yes. <laughs> there was no. no fire over there. What you was doing? <laughs> what, why, why was you there? <laughs> you know, they called 911. Everybody pull up. <laughs> Nigga set up the caution tape. You a yeah, piece of shit. <laughs> I know what I heard about you. And they called 911. Everybody show up. The whack shit is that's just how they treat you if you're black, son. It could turn to a homie with the, with the lightest, slightest bit of resistance. Yeah. You're not. Technically allowed to offend a shooter if you black. You know what I'm saying? It's just unfortunate. This shit is whack. But that's just how it goes, man. If you the, white, you can, you can resist. If you black, niggas will smoke you. The thing that's shitty, too, is like, dog, it's like you did all that. And I understand, like, niggas are broke or whatever the situation is. I don't is. understand it. So. But, no, I get that because, I mean, I've never been that desperate. Broke. Nah, hear me out. I've never been that desperate. But, like, at the same time, it's like, what was the end game? Niggas yeah, were trying man. to avoid indentured servitude like that, like your slaves. <laughs> <laughs> the niggas will kill you too if they catch you. You better chill out, Rez. Relax, I'm, I'm man. I'm just saying, like, you can't, you can't Bomber sell man. the jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> you can't sell the jewelry. Somebody Nigga about said it. he caught a, he seen a body. Nigga, yeah. it and, was you, man. They not thinking that far. You see how you thinking like, oh, Son. they not thinking that far. Sidebar. They thinking they could get You know who Pop looks like? Everybody. You remember that sweaty nigga that was singing in the Gangster of Paradise video? <laughs> <laughs> I was pull watching up, that shit the other day. Pull him up. I need to see it. <laughs> pull him up. I watched it. I was like, that nigga was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Rest in peace, Coolio. Oh, yeah, well, rest in peace, Coolio. My fuck. Uh, pull him up. Pause. I need to see who this person is. <laughs> that hat was ridiculous. Because I need to see cool. how crazy this is. And the nigga's mad random. Nigga yeah. just pops up out of a sauna just yeah. singing. 
Why? It's mad random. I don't know. <laughs> hold on, hold on. It there? Wait, it might have been some wild shit going on. No, nah, he wasn't. Hold on, hold on. Sweating so for Coolio no, was in the sauna with no, homie? niggas didn't see You can't compare this video? Nigga wasn't no. in the sauna. So- I oh. said he was sweating. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't, yeah, we, I don't even it. know how to find that. Matter you guys got to play the video. Yeah, nah, nah, Paradise we can't, video. We can't find it. This was sing, guy that sings in Gangsta Paradise. Yeah, yeah, like oh, God is... Yeah, like, Ash? guy that sings in Gangsta Oh, it's the nigga that does the chorus? Yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> He's alive and well, right? Hopefully. I, I hope so. Don't do that, Reg, because we're... Now you're about to piss me all the way the fuck off inside of here. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. I'm telling you, son. Don't oh, do no. it. He's alive and well. Yeah, word. Nah, he's definitely alive and well. Fast forward. Killian Mash? <laughs> Tell nah, me Killian why. Mash. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Right there. <laughs> fire, fire, Rex. <right. laughs> Tell me why are we so blind to see? But the ones you heard are you and me. That's me. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> so, that's a good one, bro. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> These shits is made out of paper towel. You have you have real live uh-huh. church khakis on. Uh-huh. Dead serious. I guess. What, what do you guess? I guess? What do you guess? I guess. Is that not what's happening there? Their pants. Zoom in on these shits. Their pants. Please, please, zoom. please zoom in on my no, black pants. No, 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 not that, not that right. area. <laughs> See? Zoom in See? on the black pants. I don't give a fuck. And you going to the camera? What the fuck is you on? <laughs> Dama, what, what I'm you not what you that's to? A, you got to stop comparing me to that. Nigga. Nah, nah, nah. nah you moving nah. like the first victim. Nah, I'm not. Nah, you, you moving can't. like the nigga that got away. I didn't, I didn't watch. On. I didn't watch, so I wouldn't know, but I'm not involved in You moving like the nigga that got away. That's how Reggie ain't doing this no more. That's why you stopped. You switched it up. All right, come Get the camera, Jeffrey. This the nigga's camera. hand has been in his pocket since the beginning of the episode. So, no, that's true. Nigga, you picking with me. I'm chilling. You picking with me. I'm talking about this nigga. How am I picking with you? You started talking about me. Nah, you call me I Viscera. Said rest, in, rest in peace. You call me Viscera. Man. Rest in peace. <laughs> Son, that's an homage. That, that nigga that did was that definitely, definitely Viscera. That's a beautiful chorus. It, it is. <laughs> but why are you so angry? Is like a that's that's struggle, man. Like, the niggas, like, that's... That doesn't seem like paradise. Yeah. No, it's gangsta's paradise. It's not a good place, I would imagine. Like, I don't know. Oh, it's <laughs> not a good place. Oh, you got video. a tootsie roll in here. Oh, I didn't even. Know. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! Oh, is that? Is that it? You just find out oh, Coolio died? Oh, yeah, man, it's oh, crazy. Play. You really? I swear to God, you didn't know Coolio died. That was your favorite rapper. My fault. My fault. Stacy Dash. <laughs> nah, don't do that. That's crazy. Come on. Don't do that. Don't do that. Coolio yo, is not that's a, crazy. A few at people Coolio was a big like, deal. Yo, once. they thought he was dead already. Yeah. Yeah. Coolio was a big deal. He's not DMX. He's not. Nah, he's not nah, DMX. nah. Yeah, that's, nah. Yeah, that's nah. what I'm saying. It's but not they, even, yo, there was people that's not comparable. That, that was like, that. wait, I thought he was dead already. Niggas ain't fuck with the um, yeah. Keenan and Kel game song, my nigga. That shit yeah. classic. That's, that's yo. Oh, he did, okay. Okay. Leave him alone, man. Rest up, rest up, man. Y'all niggas is wild. Son, at the end of the day. Yeah, well, he did something that like very few Red, people you can alive get that have shit ever. Right now, if you grow it just on the sides, like that. <laughs> let me say that same shit. I'm not climbing the Coolio. Rest in peace. <laughs> but that's exactly your pattern. That's your pattern. <laughs> so no, that's your pattern where you got so, where you actually have follicles. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say in a second. Yeah, yeah. So, the hat was crazy. You never, the hat with the... you never heard Coolio died. You just heard just now, and your initial reaction is to pull up a funny picture of the nigga. Damn. No, he first didn't of all, pull up a funny picture. I googled. Once he googled him, that's and this is. The picture came that up. came up. That's the came up. Second of all, nah, but they be trying to yet. play him. Keep it Come 100. On, man. If you type in Coolio, they don't give you a nah, regular man. option. Yeah, so and not even t- he accomplished. Coolio. He accomplished shit that niggas oh, he didn't rarely could publish. He gave you the regular yeah. option. I'm nah, gonna give you some mail right now. Day to day. What's the regular option to Coolio? That nah, I'm was saying. it. Salute to Coolio. Yeah, yeah, I know. But we don't have to show the crazy haircut. Like it's that's what he had every day. Like what you talking about? I didn't. Yeah, pull up the Gangsta Paradise Coolio. That's the one we should be remembering. I googled Gangsta. This Paradise singer, and yeah. this is what came up. Yeah, so I'm go to the Gangsta Paradise video. Picture of him. That's what happened. Yeah, He's chill, a white man's chill, internet. Chill, chill. Y'all wise, see? Like, y'all niggas not, bugging. That's the devil's playground. It's a fact. <laughs> now when y'all niggas go to LMB and they rock you, <laughs> pause. You know what I'm saying? To where? Nah, he don't look like he looks. Oh, and he from over there? I do say LMB. What's that? I was like, what the fuck? I was back confused. They gonna shave his head. Hmm. For the funeral, they gonna shave his head. He gonna be my nigga. What we doing? What we doing? What we doing? Probably. That's huh? how he looked. All right, man. Let's <laughs> This nigga's disrespectful. I'm not. All right. <laughs> That's me, visceral. Don't you, and don't you ever forget it. <laughs> now tell me why. 
What? This and this reminds me of the whole conversation with like the old rapper son. Like the nigga did dope shit. Like I mean, it doesn't last forever. But like I mean, he accomplished shit that who, niggas who you don't. Talking about? What are you talking about? No, I'm talking about the What's cool up with shit. you, man? That's what I'm saying. But I'm nobody ain't clowning the nigga. Nah, oh, nah, I'm just saying, he's just not. not For me personally, I feel like it's just sad that a lot of these rappers, if they do make it past their prime, I mean, they don't make it past their pitches. Yeah. So it's like, it's a little sad to see that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Salute the song. All these legends dying so young. Well, I was Googling I Pop. Huh? I was Googling the nigga y'all said he looked like. Well, Is that nigga still? Sean yeah, Kingston. What's his name? Yeah, he does look like his Sean name I, I look like I look like, like Sean Kingston Pops. <laughs> so the jet was throwing a kickstand. That's, <laughs> that's, that's who I look like. That's crazy. Now, if you want to say I look like somebody, <laughs> no, that's who I look no, like. I, like, I, like I don't know who that is. No, that's Back in the day, when a nigga had ripped jeans. <laughs> that's me. Who's Moray? I like that, that song a lot. See, you I out of the loop, Fred. That's you out of the loop. I actually like that song. How about being skinny more red? He is definitely that's viscera. That's me. He's he's that's the descendant of viscera. That's I, Darnell, Darnell take that one. more red. Yeah, that's my shit. Yeah, nah, that's dope. Yeah. Thing. Back in the days, man, I think I had a rip chain. <laughs> I fuck with that shit. So. But for some reason, uh rappers uh Kickstarter. <laughs> life, I fuck with them, the, the length of their lives is is just so short. The life expectancy yeah. of a rap is just so short. I'm it is it's though. Stress. It is. It's the most it's dangerous not. job in America. It is not. Come on, it's it not. Is. Like we got stop. We got stop saying that. J Cole it's is not. not in any danger. Uh no, I would definitely agree. Not with every rap. J Cole is not in any danger. Yeah. Not every rap. So J Cole is not, not in any danger, my nigga. What are we doing? Job. He's not. He plays professional basketball. He could pop his ACL at any moment. Oh my God! Come on, <laughs> that's what we about. There was a there was a young and he, he rest in peace his name. There's no bullets, nigga. Yeah. There's no bullets. There was a young drill He's rapper in New York huh? that just He's got that just white. got shot. Like it's just so you might be right. Maybe that's a bad that's, maybe that's a bad analogy, right? Logic is completely safe. He's half black too. Watch no. your mouth. What about uh, the other? Watch your mouth. You You're ain't right. even know. You know what I'm saying? Look at, the, the, look at the black. What about the other battle rapper black. that he just killed? Past day? What you mean? They killed him exactly. It's not safe over there. That's what I'm saying. Not safe anyway. So, hold it's on. not safe being a rapper. Hold on. He was a battle rapper and shout to Past Day salute. It was due to him breaking up a fight and my son was wild brocky. Doesn't matter what he would have did. You just too brolic to be putting your hands on people. It's not safe. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying <laughs> is this mad. It's mad safe rappers, my nigga. Yeah. Mad of them. This is one of the instances Reg has, happens to be right. Wait, wait. Who's the safest rapper? I can't the say the safest, but Drake is Eminem. safe simply because. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Level of stardom. He's superstar. That that brings more danger. If anything, nigga, yeah. more eyes. What yeah. you mean? Niggas nah. hate on this nigga, and he's fucking everybody's bitch. What nah. you mean? That's a fact. He's fucking everybody's bitch. That nigga yeah. ain't safe. It's rather dangerous. Fuck you mean Drake is that nigga? Well, when we say that, Chance the rapper. I'm saying He's safe. Right. I'm saying safe, safe as far as niggas don't Donald put Glover. themselves at risk. They don't talk about stuff, the murder shit. No, I'm, that nigga safe. I'm talking about that nigga safe. Okay, pop, pop. he can walk outside, no my security, bad. and be good. Drake. But pop, no, uh, hell Donald no. Glover. Drake can't be safe, nigga. No, and Glover. I don't right. agree um, with it. Um, Let me. The nigga he just said, Don, Donald Glover. Yeah. Let me rephrase. Safe. The rappers that live and talk about that life. They are not safe. But Brad, that's anybody that's involved in that life. And in that's general. any profession. So, right, Nigga, so how many people this? that paint bridges die a year? It's just, it's silly to say that not that's the most dangerous profession because it's not that, it's not, like, all right. huh? Yeah, all right. That's why it's not, that's why it's the most dangerous. It's the numbers. It's only about three, four hundred professional rappers. Yeah. More of them die. But the unprofessional wise. niggas yeah. get killed. Nah, nah, nah. It's not it's true. And that makes it no, worse. No, no, no. Nah, you're not. Nah, you're not. Nah, it's wow. different, from, about it's Brad, different yeah. from dying from an accident and being fucking murdered. Brad, yeah. Brad, because that's because of what Brad, you're wearing. But you just hold on, hold on. Your own at, at work. So hold on. So what about. You're not even at work. And you're So what about all the other niggas that don't rap that just look like rappers and die too? Don't look like a rapper. My nigga. Brad, that doesn't make sense. Now you a fucking cop. Now you a cop. He sound like Trump. That's Don Imus, my nigga. That's it. I'm just trying to win the argument. I saw Ben Shapiro in here wild. Chill out, my nigga. by any reason. Yeah, you just wild. Win by any means. These drill niggas sit. These drill niggas get super popular. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Paul, you got to chill. Drill niggas don't. Yeah, and yeah. Don't See? Don't that. Just type of rap. Just Stay with the drill. Right? <laughs> Stop, man. So. Jeffrey. Young. So. Jeffrey. I was Stop. Trying to, I was so, trying to make zombies. You got to think about it. You got to think about it like. A lot of these guys blow up. They're still moving outside the way. They got attention, but they're not rich. They're still outside. They got like millions of views. Mad dangerous. And they're still home. Yes. It's mad dangerous. Mad dangerous. They're still they're talking about niggas. They're doing all this shit and they're mad still dangerous. home. 
Dangerous. Of course, like, but Mad when accessible. Rolling Loud, when Rolling Loud was telling drill rappers they that they couldn't come through, son, they they're not talking about the other rappers. Them niggas is wild safe. Niggas pull up with no security. Yes. If you're involved in a certain lifestyle, regardless of if you're a rapper, I'm sure the niggas not even have to be involved if yeah. you portray that. Because a lot of them are. Real is a different. I'm not even talking about that. I don't know half of them. There's a nigga that painted houses, that's like, that's like but he gang. still did that shit. That's like I'm sure he would get shot, and it wouldn't be related directly to the fact that he painted houses. It would be related to him being a rapper, which makes no, being a rapper. I'm not dangerous. saying being a rapper. I'm it is being. It is dangerous. Houses, I agree. But to if say it's the most houses. dangerous occupation is just not again, a fact. First off, there's more most occupations. The niggas that, that feed the sharks is more dangerous. Okay, can we Google? I don't think so. Most dangerous occupation. I'm making sure it pops up. Probably Being like a, a fucking coal <laughs> miner or a fucking fisherman Guaranteed in the North North is, is like what fucking saying. way you more die dangerous. By the by an accident. Nigga, no, they don't it, die by accident. They die from ingesting this shit for 13 years. That's just the job. They just die. The job. That's part of it. You I wild. Know, when you walk into that cave, you never Amazon. get that. Amazon. That's crazy. Amazon number one. His most no, 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 That's crazy. That's wild. Son. Rapper ain't even on the list. Guarantee. I'm sure it's not, because they don't count that as an occupation. As a occupation. Yeah, just the white folks. Because right. it's just shit that's wildly more dangerous. Yo, do you see the fatality rate? Two things can be true. This is true, my nigga. White folks made this, and yes. these things are actually dangerous. <laughs> Wait, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Well, I'm trying to get to number one. No, but... I understand that, but what I'm saying is slow down. Yeah. Look at the numbers. 10%. That means out of 100 niggas, if you went to a conference for whatever job this is, mm -hmm. For every hundred niggas you meet, ten of them niggas is gonna die. During the job. That is high. fucking insane. I bet you insane. rapping is higher than that. You mean to no, me rappers is not gonna be on that. Come on, man. Well, they don't. Uh, again, this is not made but by. But you're us. not counting. Right. The, the, think about the level of rapper that dies celebrity. usually, and that's why do, it's hard to. Just yeah, do it's the level of. That's why I said if 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 do I had celebrity. a criteria, I would say rappers who make over two fifty a year. Yes, do celebrity. Then, rappers then you who make say over that, hundred k a year. Still not, if you have a nine to five and you rap, I don't consider you a professional rapper. Well, I'll be yeah. honest, there's do rappers celebrity. making ten thousand dollars that's still getting killed. Yes, and this makes it, it even it's, scary. It's due to the yeah. proximity, nigga. That's that. Yeah, it is. Do celebrity. Celebrity what? I want to see was was number one. Number one. Let me get to number one. All the way at the. Damn, we're gonna scroll for that fight. Well, no, we almost said. It's not a credible site. It's looking crazy. 32%? <laughs> he said it's not a credible site. Who signed up for these jobs? The niggas that watch the YouTube and tell you if it's monetizable or not. <laughs> that's <laughs> a dangerous <laughs> joint. Because if we ever find one of them niggas, <laughs> <laughs> that's a dangerous <laughs> joint. Logger is don't, number don't two. Admit, don't admit to number <laughs> one is uh, a hunting or a fishing worker. Come on, son. Well, what's the percentage on that? Uh, it says 132.1. Come on, it's not, <laughs> it's not close. Stop. Stop. It's not close. The dangers of this commercial. Like that means out of 100 niggas, 132.1 of them niggas is gonna die. So that's that's, 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 that's the most calamitous. Y'all believe that? That's abortions. <laughs> that's the most they calamitous joint out there. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait what does it say? Yeah. Out of what a, job is this? Out of 100 niggas, 132 of them. I told you, them like ice fish niggas, dog. You didn't. Tell you're me. you're certainly dead. That shit said 132%. Nobody's walking away from that shit alive. It didn't say percent. I don't know what that means, but I that? agree. Wow. So this shit is fucking insane. Yeah, but still, it's not worth it if you can't spend it. I feel like niggas it. just like saying It's not that. worth That's it not if you enough. can't spend it. Nigga, 350? I'm good. For like six months, they out on the sea. Yeah, I'm good. On the Bering but they, Strait. But them niggas make so much bread, though. <laughs> You're supposed to die. It's niggas is much. dead <laughs> feeding on whale blubber. That's their, <laughs> their, like what? That's their fuel to live. Whale blubber oil, drinking their food. Man, what? listen, my nigga, I'm good. Whale shit? Job I'm not doing. Worth mad bread. Yeah. How do you have this information? It's it's oh, well God. vomit. It's not well shit. See? Ask him. Why is that worth some bread? Because they make perfume and, and shit like that like out of it. What? It's like wow. super rare. Certain crystals or the wow. material that is made out of. It. Do it. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, do it again. I forget what, what they call it. What is that fragrance y'all wearing? <laughs> what is that fragrance y'all wearing? Nigga, that's Hello, Willie, why? Hello, Willie, Willie. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. What they I'm call cool it, on the whale like shit, the whale vomit. Keep all the whales. I'm good, man. I'm good. <laughs> Save the whales. Save words. Save the whales. All right, tell us about your boy, Jake Paul. Oh, um, shit. It's not my boy, but uh, he's talking about possibly moving to MMA. Quiet. It's ridiculous, but I mean, 100%. why is that ridiculous? Why y'all think that's because nah, that's like true. Jake Paul so far, and I'm not going to say he has like he doesn't have a level of skill or technique for someone who's boxing or whatever, but 
I feel like the problem with the way he did things also gives him a very... It's a false confidence. He fought Ben Askren, who, like, is a wrestler. He doesn't have hands. He just came off of, I think, a knee or a hip surgery. Like, Ben Askren knew he was getting knocked out. This fight was just a bag for him. He made, like, a million dollars or some shit. Again, he fought Tyron Woodley, but Tyron Woodley, again, is a wrestler. He is definitely going to be in the UFC Hall of Fame. He definitely could hit hard, but he is very far from a boxer. And then if we're talking reach and size and all these other differences, there are advantages that Jake Paul had. And he was definitely a skilled boxer. I'm not going to take that away from him. But Tywin Woodley was definitely not in his prime at this point, Mm -hmm. right? He knocked out, like, uh, Nate Robinson, who was an NBA player. This guy has, like, this very false sense of who he is as a fighter. Now, if he were to go into Bellator MMA, I'm not saying there's not a chance he could possibly beat one of those guys. Nah, like no chance. Super low tier by, no like, chance. some fluke. But, like, dog, like, he's going to get mangled in there. It's it's sort of like when niggas thought Kimbo going, like, rest in peace, Kimbo <laughs> Slice, niggas Shit. thought Kimbo was going to do something in the UFC, and that little white boy with pink hair demolished him in a matter of seconds. Seth Petruzzelli or some shit like that? Yeah, like, it was it was almost like... It was so anticlimactic, it was sad. You, you killed that Taylor tape just now. But we, he was, went off. Was, we, he went crazy. He was paying <laughs> for his, his whole life. Yo, you, <laughs> nah, <laughs> words, you, went, you went nuts, my nigga. Word, you boy. You went that. crazy. You went crazy. <laughs> Chill out, Mighty Mouse. He ran across son, the, he Demi- ran across Demetrius the cage Johnson, that nigga went and crazy. just started punching that nigga in the face. And it was over. What's wild is... Like you're gonna give up this sport that's that you love so much, right? On boxing and, and getting these huge checks mm. for this little amount of you don't get the same amount of attention or or, or fame or bread from the fighting in the MMA. Right. Because think about it, Dana White is like super anti sun, right? So it's not you're gonna be UFC. So it would have to be a step down somewhere. And even the Bellator niggas are violated. Yeah. There's no chance for homie. So he would I mean, I understand the whole thing. He just wants to the, the war aspect of fighting niggas, and I respect him, but he's gonna have to take a very low-level opponent that's not even ranked in one of these other divisions, some other type of um, network, because right. it can't be UFC, Bellator, any of the top guys, Pride, or any of that other shit. Like, and it won't be, and the reason why I think he's gonna be successful at this, and he's successful at a lot of things, is because he's strategic. I yes. think that, number one, none of his fights are, are sanctioned fights. He's not yeah. WBA, WBC. Yeah. Right? Word? He's pulling some, no, yeah, no, they're not. Nigga, they would not never what? sanction that they stuff. They would never sanction that you gotta think about fight. the weights that he's getting these niggas at. So, so to oh, your yeah, credit, that's true. yeah, to your credit, Pop, these aren't sanctioned MMA fights. You're yeah. not going to be UFC, Bellator, or any of those other. He's going to yeah. have his own thing. Yeah. And all of this is really just to, I think, start his own, whether it be an agency for fighters yeah. or his own platform for fighting. Which is dope. He's so just promoting. So, so he's going to choose an f- opponent that he can beat. He's going to be larger dog. than the, he's going to be way way more than the, the wow. person. And right? he used to wrestle all four years of high he school. Used to wrestle. And was kicking niggas' ass. He could wrestle. Right. You know so he's going to strategically choose an opponent that he has an advantage over, yeah. right? And promote a fight because we're gonna show up and watch the fight. Yeah. And so yeah, I think he will win the fight. Yeah, of course. But he's, he's just building win. something greater. And so this is not a fight. He's not gonna call out Jones. For, I just for, think it's no. ridiculous the, as the wording. You know what I'm saying? The way they word it is like, oh, this nigga's really about to go fight for the championship right. or some shit. And it's just not the case. At all. It's ridiculous. At he all. is going to win whatever he does. Absolutely going to win. It's probably going to be someone he's already been training with or fighting and been beating this nigga up and sparring. Yeah, and he's pause. 50 pounds heavier than this person. You feel me? And it's like, the nigga's, yo, know, he's, he's a gold mine, son. And he's built that, he's built the platform in a way to where it's still entertaining. Absolutely. And he gets to call all the shots, man. Just and and additionally, it, yeah. I think he's, although he's beat these guys, he's formed relationships with actual UFC fighters like yeah. a Woodley or an Askren, and they're going to be a part of this platform. 100%. They're going to be trainers. They're going to promote it. They may yeah. even, he may even get older fighters and, you know, if you Yo, want to still get in there. To get a nigga's name on your on your body, tattoo. That's crazy. You got to think about the bag this nigga is paying these yeah. people, son. They get into it. And he don't even like the nigga. But it's just no chance. It's like when Jeffrey ran down on a 14-year-old boy. Jesus. Who we already, he violated your brother. And you know that. How you still go? For the 50 cash. Yeah. Remember? That's nasty. Hold on. The little boy's out in front of the gas station with two of his men. You know you did to my brother, right? And you got two of your men. Y'all should have smoked. He was supposed to not make it out of that. He was not supposed to make that. Did you watch that part? I did watch it. The 14-year-old boy. I didn't get her something, though. Yeah, but I, which is crazy because how the, how the fuck does Boosie not champion the shit out yeah. of this shit? No, Boosie I think said crazy. he wanted done. I think, uh, how? 
the families are saying this was it was insensitive. You would think Boosie is saying Jeffrey Dahmer is the Keep goat, nigga. <laughs> like Jesus. You would think that's what Boosie said. You would think that Boosie would have a different stance on it. He actually made a lot of sense in his in what he said. What did he say? Boosie? Yeah. Um, he just one. kept saying it's sick for 40 seconds. He, 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 part that's all I've seen him say. Part is the word is sick. Like Jeffrey she Charles sick, man. He did hey, man. She she sick, man. That for like 45 seconds. That's all he said. He, he felt like Jeffrey targeted black men. He for did. Starters. Yeah, he, he did, though. And so it, it showed a lot of assault, a lot but, of... But think about it. To us... If Jeffrey was living in, because you said he was in the building, right? Yeah. If he was living in the building with white folk, he would have only killed one nigga. Because the lady next door would have called the police. Yeah. And then they would have ran down because white niggas is being killed. And then it would have been. Nah, but he killed, killed white niggas killed. too. He definitely killed white folk. He killed yeah. white niggas too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. I thought it was just all niggas. No. Nah, he got, got white people. He white niggas. If they were slipping, dude, anybody that anybody. went for the fucking line, nigga. Yeah. He was equal opportunity. But then I think, I think huh? it was mostly then. minority though at the end of the day because they were white gay men. Yeah. Oh, true. so they didn't. That's a majority was, now, though. You wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got That's the majority. Back then, when he was doing yeah, he this, you know what I'm saying? If he was black, you know what I'm saying? If you went for the lines he was feeding, they, you know what I'm saying? He, but was, so, he but, was equal opportunity with the savagery. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Whoever trust. was over there. Because he killed a few white niggas. Yes, he did. Like the lead up to where he, and he said to the police, the yo, I, it's nothing about black, nigga. I just happened to be in this area. That's all I could afford. He said, yo, because a black cop was on him. Yo, why you doing this? Ah, uh, fuck out of here. You did this on purpose. He said, this is what I can afford, my nigga. Like I work in a chocolate factory. <laughs> Willy Wonka and type of shit. Like, I'm really fucked up out here. His grandmother was, when she was like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm going to stay down I'm here. Stay awake. Him. Yeah. They said that's fake. It never really happened. What? Oh, the really? grandmother's involvement in that situation was very less, a lot less than what they made it seem. You know, they dramatized, like, and yeah. romanticized a lot of shit on it, which was dope in the, in the show. It looks yeah. cool, like, the fact that she stood up there, pause. But how, like, like one of y'all said last week, how, I think it was Derek. How 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 much time are you gonna put into that? Standing there to make sure your son don't violate? You can't do that. Or you so you just never gonna sleep? Son, you feel me? It would the, be impossible. The, what would you do? I don't, I have no idea. Your kid starts wilding like that. You got you got proof of it. What you do? I have no idea. Because you you don't really want to tell on you. I don't know. But I you can't about have that, him out though. here doing that. Absolutely so what you, not. So what you do? What's the other options? Smoke. Nah, so can't kill Pop is not gonna wow. Pop's not gonna allow you to win this. This is a, a question with no answers because we did this last week and there's no <laughs> there's no answer. There's no answer. I there said put that nigga in a sane asylum. He said they don't exist. What are Where you they talking at? about? Where are them shit? They at? exist. Where are they at? What's that? Nigga, I don't have need for one, oh. but I know they exist. <laughs> they put crazy niggas somewhere. Let me, Jeffrey let me, wasn't going in Jeff. there. Nah, Jeffrey wasn't. Yeah, he and he wasn't okay. crazy enough. Right, That's what I'm saying. Right, he he's not crazy enough. enough. Yeah, you kill that nigga, I guess. You don't, don't kill know. your kid. What are you saying? No, what I'm I saying is you, you, you have to report stop. him. You have to report him to the <laughs> police or something because at some point, like like you said before, the nigga's going to kill you before you kill him. Like So at some point, you have to be cognizant of that, especially if you have other people around you, like your kids. You got to paralyze him somehow. Whatever. Dog, I mean, this is this is crazy. This is a no-win scenario. <laughs> this is your gotcha. child, so and it doesn't end well either way. It doesn't. Because, it doesn't. That's why I'm asking. If you don't take care of it, somebody's going to take care of it. It's going to be mm. taken care of one way or another, either way. Mm. So at least you're going to do it with some level of compassion. Mm. What's the level of compassion to kill your kid? I don't know. I'm like, distracted. listen, I'm sorry, nigga, and boom. Like, Ooh. I don't know. What to oh say. wow. <laughs> Yeesh. Wow, man. Mm. Here's a question like, I did have for y'all. Things, man, and, and then eating them afterwards. I ain't even it's worried about that. I just, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you bugging. You can't, you can't be doing that. No, you're bugging. You out here committing buggery, nigga. You got to chill the fuck out. You can't do that in here. Nah, a question I so you think all he needed was a good talking to? You can't be doing what you're doing. Stop it! Yes. No. With nah. a roll, no. roll of North toilet paper. I mean, and he would have offered paper. you a sandwich. Right in his nose. Yeah. Pow! Like, like, my bad. Here's a, pow! Like that with the, with the roll, roll of no, newspaper. Here's a sandwich. The sports section. Here's a sandwich. Pow! Sports. Oh, here's, shit. Here's a sandwich. My bad. Like, clean yeah. all this shit up. I made you a sandwich. You can't be doing don't, this. Don't go into that room. Here's a sandwich. I will say this. The woman next door had no job. No. <laughs> she had no job. She just attended that random part was un, That part was it's untrue dramatic. as well. And like What? No. That part was untrue as well. The woman, Glenda Robinson or some shit, Glenda, yeah. whatever, she actually lived in an apartment complex across the street. So she has no idea how it smells over there. She wasn't even in the same building. Wasn't even in the same wow. building. So the neighbor <laughs> was the the um the neighbor was like the one across the uh hallway from her. Yeah. She was involved as well, but that wasn't Glenda. 
Niecy Nash's character didn't even live in the same building. Just nosy as shit. Yeah. So mm. my son, nosy Nash, just out there, <laughs> hey, just in the building, in the building, in the business. Of the show and shit. This is the question I have for y'all after watching Dama, and then we also watched Tyson recently. Yeah. Who would y'all want to see next get um, a dramatization of their life? Gacy, John Wayne. Just because of how they wowed out in that part yeah. on episode ten. Yeah. That was a. To me, that was the scariest part of that of that shit. I'm not gonna hold you if they that shit do. was crazy. Did Yo, you see it yet? Yeah. That twenty like twenty seconds of Wait showing. No. Boom! Wow. Yeah. Like yeah. it was not even just the punch. The punch was bad too. The but, crazy part it wasn't a punch. Yeah. He did one of these like at his nose. Oh, like, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, damn. Son. I was like, what? It seemed like yeah. they're gonna make the gacy. Rock you in your face, stab your brain with your nose bone. Yeah. You Hit him about? with the prodigy. Yeah. That's exactly. What you talking about? Yeah. Yo, the hero, that's wild. I remember niggas trying to do that to people in school, remember? <laughs> and you really, that can really fuck somebody up, yeah, you know, yeah, to do that. Really, you're supposed to get up out of here with yeah. that. You're supposed to send them up to the, you know what I'm saying? That pushed the, that's the, the upper room. room. That's yeah. what it's, you out. it's called the upper room. That's what that was called back in the day. Uh, We're Jesus. If, wow. if they could possibly. <laughs> you don't even remember that. No. So cultural shit. Right? <laughs> Some cultural <laughs> shit. <laughs> Where G That's on life. Man. I didn't go to church. No, that Nigga, was on life. life. Yo, what the fuck? That's not the, not the, to, the life church, church nigga. What's the kind of school? The church of life? Son. Nigga, it's a movie, private B. School, private school church isn't the same as... Yeah, no, no, I know. It's not church. But we're not talking about church It's a movie. We're talking about a movie. It's all good, though. You know I love you, man. I don't watch... I watch a lot of I know, I know. I mean, a lot of black movies. Yeah, Fred, you got to mute your mic before you say that nah, stuff. I'm just this is why we can't anything, progress. Anything made by Tyler Perry, I didn't see it. I'm going to be honest with you. Wow. I didn't see it. Life wow. is Eddie Murphy. And oh, I've seen Life. Anything made by funny. Tyler Perry I've seen life is Metro. crazy. It was a black nigga in the movie. Tyler did it. Yo, <laughs> this might be the most racist nigga, B. Yo, you hate us. I've seen Spike Lee movies. And you know me. I've seen Spike Lee movies. I ain't watching Tyler Perry shits. What the The fuck? The crazy part, he said it and he wasn't even joking. He was dead serious. Oh, yeah, Tyler in there. I I don't usually fuck with that type of shit. As soon as I hear her lur, like, I'm turning the TV off. And I'm running I don't stay long enough for that. So that's crazy. So, um... That was really cool in the upper room, though. If they could do a dramatization of... Like the whole Rockefeller record story. Hell like, yeah! I would. I would watch fuck, that. I would watch every episode, basically every that. week. Did you watch the uh, murder? We're never gonna know what happened. I didn't see that either. Yeah. I, I was going to watch it, but low key, I feel like the whole Irv Gotti interview had the opposite desired effect. Uh-huh. So after he did drink champs, low key, I was just like, I don't want to watch this nigga sit and talk about Shanti for like two hours. So I'm, I'm cool. I mean, I'd like to see uh, DC Sniper probably be cool. Yeah, I think that, I think we're gonna get that. I think they did a they they did, they did one like something oh, like I remember, about the Dahmer shit. He did um the OJ Simpson shit too, right? That was good. Y'all yeah, the, the, the ten the, the, OJ the yeah OJ versus OJ the people. was really that good. shit was straight. Makuba, I fuck with that. That shit was straight. It's pretty good at like doing the dramatized reality. Like they said, son, the actor that played him was like ill and mad other shit too. I've never heard of that nigga. I never watched Peters. I never watched it. Yeah, he was in X Men though. Yeah, that's the only thing I've really seen him in. He was in season one American Horror Story with he. A couple seasons of that shit. I never, I never watched it. Cause it's an anthology series, so it changes. Yeah, that's the son. He was the son in the first season. He was like a fucking. Oh yeah, he was dope. Yeah, but he was in it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know really As different show. characters? Yeah, yeah, so every yeah. season the story changed in American yeah, Horror Story. And I get but that, but the same actors. Why they won't let Oh, oh, I was about to say the exact same actors, oh, they just play different roles. They won't let my brother be in power again because he was a cop one time. Hey, like, nobody remembers him but me. Yeah. I'm the only one that remembers that was him. Let him yeah. do it again, nigga. The chat rooms. Oh yeah. <laughs> the chat rooms. <laughs> the chat notes. Theories. <laughs> Because well, uh, someone watching the show is like, wait, that nigga was a cop. He must yeah. be significant somehow. Because yeah. now he's a security guard. <laughs> he's a fed. The Irregicals. Yeah. Now nah, you it's right. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the Yo. All right, but Rockefeller, a Rockefeller dramatization of Rockefeller. A good story. Like, yeah, anything, that would be hard. Pause. Anything that, because like, I don't feel like the full story was ever, and it's probably never going to come out ever, because Biggs ain't never going to say shit. This nigga Jay's loves Biggs, be more. Son, like, I, yes, definitely. Like, I wouldn't say I love Biggs, that's oh. a very strong word, but oh. I did look up to him. Yeah. 
<laughs> he caught your littles. That's what <laughs> he's bugged out, man. Get this nigga, man. You're gonna piss me off today. Why he called you that, man? I didn't have a. I didn't even hear him, so like I don't I have a comeback. You, but of course, nah, I did. Hear him. Call him Smalls, my nigga. This is crazy. Uh, because he said Rockefeller Bad Boy would be good. But I feel like but they've we've done had bad boy shit before. We got, we got Biggie, story. We had Biggie. I feel like niggas have alluded to it. They got the, because they featured niggas in the, nah, that's even when they did pot story. That's kind of true. I feel like they've told the story many times. Diddy will tell you the shit that happened, so you kind of know. But Jay's never going to say shit. Biggs is never going to say shit. The only nigga talking about it is Dame, and you're only The really biggest bad boy here. mystery has never been solved. That's wild. Chill out. Oh, we can continue, right? All right, man. Yeah, we can leave that alone. Moving on. It hasn't been solved. You were just talking about them niggas like, before. Like, what are you trying to do? <laughs> You're what are you talking about? Us, dog. Yeah, Did they ever right. do anything on Def Jam? Like, nah. like, nah. like the Def Chris Lighty story and, type shit? That would have that to shit. have like 10 seasons. You were. That shit's that, still going. You know what's crazy? That's why they should do it. They can get an entire series out of that. Yeah. yeah. You actually got a point. Like, not just a limited series. That's they can do bad. Show everybody's seasons. point yeah. of view. Where... Um, I actually had um, the, the first president of Def Jam on the, the pod. Bill, hmm. Bill Stephanie, okay. he was the first oh, president that's of Def Jam, rush. and he was he had he showed me this picture, and it was crazy because you don't really think of these niggas like this, but it was like everybody before they were famous. It was like Run DMC, um, what's his name, uh, Chris Rock, uh, uh, the director, fuck, what's his name again, uh, Spike Lee, mm-hmm. all them niggas like just they were just like artists and like creatives on the yeah. like you know trying to break through or whatever, and all of them are in, like, that one picture, oh, like, just fine. figuring it out. I feel like you just fine. started naming random black people because Chris Rock and Run DMC had a good, like, eight-year difference. No, but he was in the... All right. He was in the picture. <laughs> he know, They nigga. have an eight-year difference, but he was in the picture. They're How you going to tell him? Himself. He was in the room. He the only one that watched it. Nigga, he remembers. <laughs> it's his show. That was Red Fox. He's yeah. like, <laughs> Red Fox <Yeah>. is crazy. <laughs> Yo, but he's seen the episode. Nigga, it's his. Him he and, the picture. It was him and picture. probably some other person. You know who I would want to see the conversation views. of? And I don't think he would let... He would He would be like Tyson. He wouldn't be in agreement with it, but I would like to see Martin Lawrence. Yeah. Martin lived a wild life, yeah. too. Yeah. I would like to see Martin. Or like oh, Floyd's yeah. beginning. Floyd. Yeah, that would be Floyd, dope. That'd be a d- dope move. Floyd, Floyd could be cool. Floyd. Floyd's beginnings and shit, and like how he, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Because, dog, to be that that type of dedication, it comes from starvation, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Desperate to get out of those conditions. Yeah. Word. Yeah, that I kind mean, of de- dedication, nobody has it. That's true. You know what I'm saying? And once you get to the top, you can't maintain that level of focus. My son about to fight again. You see that? He's just I did, but I don't been. understand why. He beat the nigga in Japan. Dog, he can't money. stop another one. He can't stop it. Son. Money though. He has enough. He can't stop yeah, it. I don't yeah. think it's about money. It's only about I don't a million think so. dollars. The, the purse only like a million or something like that. I don't think nah, it's about money. No, but he probably gets more than that, dog. But the idea that Floyd Mayweather flew out there just for a million dollars. Or to dollars fight a nigga for a million dollars. Yeah, I like, can't yeah, believe it. Nigga not, probably made like no bread off that shit. It's no way he's fighting nobody for a million dollars. He got a cut of whatever. Like it, it doesn't make sense. I don't think that nigga will play a like gamble a card game for under a million dollars. As he much, walks around with a million dollars in his backpack. It's, uh, it's very difficult for me. Yeah, that's to the first time I've seen a million dollars in cash. Remember that yeah. one time when he did the thing? Yeah. yeah. As oh. much as he loves money, he loves attention, I think. Yeah. I just so, feel like that's his purpose. Yeah. Like, he's a fighter. Are, he I'm wants to... to find it keeps him sharp. It keeps him young. It gives him his purpose. Yeah. But he makes, he makes mad bread. He takes care of a lot of people. He has a lot of businesses. Like, there's never such a thing as too much cash, I think. And he, he burns through it a lot, so I would imagine he has to keep making it. Like this, sir. But I don't know anything about his pockets. I'm just assuming. Ain't nothing on it. Yeah. Butt naked popcorn is crazy. <laughs> ain't no butter, ain't no oil on the bag, yeah, no butter. salt. It's no butter. Where did you get it. this popcorn from? For free, nigga. They gave it to him. In the great ring. They paid him to take it because they ain't got no butter <laughs> on it. Let's smell. Ain't no scent. Come on, son. When the last time somebody popped popcorn, you, the whole, you ain't smell it or hear it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of true. That is true. You ain't hear it or smell it. What type of shit is that? Yeah. I ain't no popcorn's in the room till you said something. That's pirate's booty. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, back the back of pirate's booty out. That shit stink. It don't smell like nothing, son. I know it stink up close. Y'all out of line. No, it ain't. That dude, that dude smoked my graduation. Tastes like styrofoam. <laughs> Nigga, you never pop popcorn and didn't hear it or smell it? 
<laughs> That's raw corn kernels. That nigga eating corn, my nigga. <laughs> Ain't enough oil to pop it. That nigga got corn. Be pause. Come on, man. I'm tired of you niggas, man. Would you like some popcorn? Not at all. Not that okay. shit right there. Whatever happened to the, the snacks and shit, the chips, man? What happened That's to why the I chips? had to bring my own. Yeah, yeah, this is crazy. Same thing happened to the kitchen, man. Like, I don't know. Ev took the whole, everything? The That's the crazy. Kitchen, if he, if was take, that's why the first thing he took. Ramps, ran yeah. snacks. Oh, the snacks. <laughs> Come on. My son ran snack at the kitchen. <laughs> ran snack is crazy. Kitchen going, man. Yeah, he, he got it, man. <laughs> Tired of niggas. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, Nobody want no popcorn? Nah. nah. We're good. Put some butter on it. No, thank you. Speaking of. It's better for you. You bought like a out. pack of popcorn from home? Yes. In no. His, in his yeah. wallet. That's emergency wallet. <laughs> emergency popcorn from the fire office, my nigga. <laughs> blood sugar flow. <laughs> How? Nigga, he's the healthiest nigga in the room. <laughs> you heard Doug, me. Doug said that was the wallet. <laughs> <laughs> nigga just popped wild fire. pennies in the microwave. That's crazy, man. That shit don't smell like nothing, son. Fire. Nigga, everybody close their eyes. Can you tell us popcorn in the room? Nah, ain't no popcorn in here. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it never happened, my nigga. No for you. It's I understand. Skinny gotta pop. be. Skinny pop. That's snow peas. Uh, skinny pop. Yeah, <laughs> see? Skinny pop. Oh, oh. Yeah. Healthy popcorn, no gluten. It, it, gluten it, it, tastes it, it, good. He can't have this. It's skinny pop. Skinny pop is crazy. <laughs> pop. See? Pop. Ain't gonna ever be no skinny pop, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I'll find nah, somebody bro. else. <laughs> that shit ain't for me, my nigga. <laughs> Nah, we're <laughs> big pop. really enjoying that pause. <laughs> That's crazy pause. You wild. See, he right. always gotta go. Uh, Rainbow Coalition. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. Man. Yo, what's funny? The Rainbow Coalition was actually like mm. nothing to do with that. Oh, yeah, it did it. Yeah, they stole it. it. it had absolutely nothing to do with that. They stole it. Didn't have anything to do with that at all. It's mad funny. I didn't know that until I watched the movie. Yeah, but it was, yeah, it was, Black Messiah. Yeah, it's too late though. Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> what are you gonna say? It's too late. He probably didn't even knew that was gonna turn into that. He would have named yeah. it something different. Yeah. He didn't know niggas was gonna co op that shit. Yeah. Uh, Jesse Jackson, my boy is hungry because he got you tricked into it now. Nah, it's really not that good. Hey, hey, I know it ain't, nigga. So why you got a nah, fistful of that shit? It. Pause. Nah. It's hot because it's warm. I'm trying to help him out. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled out the turban. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, what was Johnny Quest's homeboy? Haji? <laughs> wow. You remember that? Yes. Yeah. 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 One of my Hot. favorite cartoons. Yeah. 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 OD we races. going down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all. Oh, oh, yeah, we going. We going. I'm no. glad he's not on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. this is have to donate because this shit just got to the bottom. <laughs> remember, remember us, the little shit in the in the beginning. <laughs> Son. Oh man. Uh, That's speaking crazy. of <laughs> speaking of drama, hey, you're gonna grab another handful in a second. Stop lying. Speaking of dramatizations and movies and all that stuff, Kenya Barris it wants to do a remake of The Wizard of Oz with a diverse cast. All right, so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's already been yeah. done. So this made the me think, basically the Wiz. Been done. This made me uh, think back to somebody left a comment on one of our Patreon episodes and said, "Is it like a creator's duty to make sure that the cast is diverse? That's in the film." No. No. Yes. Absolutely. Depending, it is. like if it's a period piece where it's it's all fucking. It's in Poland, nigga. What, what, I mean, how diverse do it gotta exactly. be? If it's about Auschwitz, you know what I'm saying? If it's about fucking Coney Island, or you know what I'm saying? Like, it depends, my nigga. There's, there's, there's times where it calls for it, and then there's times where it can fuck it up. Like yeah. when Julia Roberts was cast as Rosa Parks. It's nuts. <laughs> it's that just absurd. It's there absurd. There was a real nah. script going around oh. for that. So, it was like, a long I mean, time ago, yeah. I think niggas just like complaining because it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Now, if we're talking about like Little Mermaid or fictitious characters or whatever, yeah. I, I don't really give a shit, you know what I mean? Because it doesn't make a difference. These people are made up. But if you're telling an actual story, it's a two-way street because the people that are complaining about diversity are never going to be like, well, there aren't enough white people in this this black movie. They actually or, do. I, then I, I don't read comments. I'm going to be honest with you, so I wouldn't know. And it's like, if they're talking about ancient China or some shit, they're going to be like, where are all the niggas at? They weren't there. 
But I don't think we're talking about last thing on Earth Star and Tom Hanks. Yeah, that's that not, shit is gonna really happen. gonna happen, so, <laughs> and that's wild as shit. But, but I salute to them for making that um, that that um, Ariel joint, the, the Little yeah, Mermaid, Little Mermaid? I, that black lady, because that shit is dope. You seen the one with the, Haley Bailey? Haley. You seen the kids crying like, "Mommy, she's black!" Like they yeah. were so happy and so, shit. Like, Representation matters. Nigga, that shit was dope. Yeah, yeah but like when not you always it, though, man, because you can't represent everybody and everything. Like sometimes niggas just gotta chill out. Well, I, I don't think we're talking about historical uh, events. We're talking about made up shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. If, if it's made yeah. up, then it is what it is. Yeah. If it, I when it's be forced and that. it has nothing to do with the story, I feel like it takes something away from it, though. Because then it's like, we're just making this nigga be this way. Because, like, we know what I'm talking about. But I'm not gonna say Hold it. on. We're making this nigga be this way. Wait a minute. I'm bugging. For our movie, your man. Backed out one of them, your man's in them pause and said, "This Ball being, and them. this being need to be in this movie. Yeah. That's why we didn't get to fucking make the movie. Yeah. We were supposed to have a number yeah. one movie right now. Yeah. And your man's in them. If I if I remember correctly, this brought person, your man's in them. This person was supposed to be a hairdresser in, in the film. This week. What do we need a makeup artist and hairdresser for no, in the movie? The character was supposed to. <laughs> niggas no, don't the, have. The person was supposed to play this character for yes. pop. His personal attendee. Don't oh, whoa, whoa, no, no, that's not a fact. What the fuck? That's what he about? said. That's what he proposed. <laughs> that never happened. The person is supposed yeah, to be right your right hairstylist. Now. How? And, uh, all right. That's How, what the nigga said. Reg? That's what the that's nigga why. said. Oh, Yo, that's what the nigga said. We were on the call. Just guy. refresh my said. shit. Yo, you know what's crazy? I don't agree. It wasn't my idea. I'm just saying that's what the nigga said. That's from not the what time, he said. From that's the time I first met your homeboy, right? No, don't do that. He was not in agreement at all. Don't do that. Derek, remember when we first met the homeboy with the script? Yeah. And I said, nah, he, look at his boots. Nah, yeah, them shits was crazy. <laughs> I was like, It looked like no the way. bullet that come across the screen in Mario. No it looked way. just like the little bullet. <laughs> <laughs> them shits was crazy. I used to be so mad. One time when he walked past, I just wanted to hook them shits. But I chilled because I didn't know him. So I was just like, what's up, fan bond? But the nigga looked, yo, I hated them shits. It was made out of bowling ball material. If you looked at them close enough, them shits, like, if he hit you in the shin, it's done up. <laughs> OV, son. Say la vie, my nigga, you out of here. <laughs> You're done, son. The body done. Get the L out of my house. That shit is over with. I hated them boots. How is he? How is and he, he won every he link. Every link he came through with the yes. same stupid ass yes. fit, head to toe. And then tell us about all this chicken he's about to make. I was like, how is he going to write a script for us? No chicken. My son's a vegan. There's no chicken over there. <laughs> <laughs> Farm fed friend. You heard? My son just Farm eat friend. just vegetables all day, my nigga. Yo, that's crazy. He's the and that's first your man. Don't, I don't want to hear nothing. First person. We wouldn't have ever right linked on. with son of when he's you didn't supply him. That's your man. Pause. Right or wrong, he's the first person I knew that made When you came from, from Haiti. That was your first person that you met. Wow. <laughs> You said it's the first person you knew. <laughs> That's what you said. I didn't finish the sentence. Oh, all right. All right. Wow. It wouldn't have been good if I didn't interject at that time. Pause. I had to. I seen an opportunity, my nigga. Shit was a little trumpish, my nigga. I'm nah. Just I'm just saying. Nah. That's your first person. That shit ain't hit. Anyway, what I said. It was all at the Alpha, did I not say you was going to finish eating that shit? Fam, just put it back. Pause. Exactly. All right, so <laughs> nigga put mad of the dust from the fire extinguisher on top of the fucking down to so, the bottom of the bag. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. So, it's just spicy. Fire, and fire extinguisher dust. Fire and brimstone. <laughs> so the nigga, yes, made like a film before, so I recommend him. But of course, as soon as we had whatever creative differences, and we were like, yeah, we're not gonna. Yo, but we had, we had, it was lit, my nigga. That was gonna yeah. be funny, son. Yeah, man, but the price And they had the high. fucking, the price of admission price is crazy. High. They said it has to be, that's yeah. it. like you said, inclusion. The price is too high. This is what it is. And like, I'm, I'm not against First inclusion, important. but just doing it to placate people. Yes, that's it. Doesn't make any sense. It totally took away from what the script was. There was nothing. So that answers your question or your question that you led with. Yeah. Do you feel it's the producer or who you said the director's job? Or the creator, anybody. Or the creator. Well, we were the creators. Yeah. So and it wasn't our job. That was brought in, and it was because we didn't have this yeah. person. They said, nah, without this person, then you can't move yeah. forward. Yeah. Like, straight like that. Like, fucked up the whole relationship because you wasn't ready to 
You know what um, I mean? Intermingle. Let yeah. the nigga duff the buns. So. <laughs> <laughs> duff out the buns, boys. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they said that's the, that's a, when Jeffrey used to enter the club, the DJ would put the Jamaican song on, duff out the buns. Uh, duff out the buns. <laughs> it's like, that's what they would play when he came through. That's wild as shit, my nigga. Holy shit, man. <laughs> buns getting duffed out is wild, pause, because... There was a picture of Jeff in the middle of the bathhouse. They said he wasn't allowed in there no longer. Yo, you know I didn't know, I didn't know bathhouses were that. I didn't know what bathhouses were. Aside not. from your man, when you was over was there like wilding a, with the African niggas in Chicago. I thought it was like a, in Chicago? <laughs> oh, Jesse Smollett? <laughs> That's the first time I heard it when you was over there wilding. I thought it was just like a spa or something like that. I didn't know it was. It was nah, in the nah, bathhouse with two, <laughs> two African niggas in the like, bubbles. You went to Bamba? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's just so nasty, man. Oh, uh, but fuck, the, the diversity thing. Yeah. So. There's actually a movie, I can't remember the name of it, and it's about 9-11, and they show a, a soldier that ran in, he was like, uh, off oh, duty, white, whatever. The, the white guy flipped out for the black. Yeah. And they ran in, and he's saving people, oh, and like yeah. that. He was actually Asian or some shit. No, he was actually black. He's black. Yeah. And they made him a white person mm. in the That's film. That's trash. No, diversity matters. Uh, I think yeah, it's like some dude in the office was like, it was a black guy? No, nah, it's not really believable. Nah. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Nah, it's not I think believable. representation matters. That's I think crazy. being able to see yourself or um, in different roles matters. You know, I think that, uh, like, watching the, the new Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon. Mm. Yeah. Seeing black, uh, not Targaryens, but That's what's the other? What's the Valerians? Other? I ain't watching yeah, it. Yeah, like, but... Fam, they're but, made up characters. But uh, but that's what I'm saying. We talk. It adds a lot. It does. Diversity adds it to every story. But they're again, made up yourself. characters. It We're only talking about made up though. The Wizard of Oz is made up. We only talk yeah, about so made up stuff. Yeah, they could be anything. Right. And just like Ariel could be anything. Yeah. So they shouldn't be an outlaw. Yeah. But we only talk about made up. But what it's like in outrage. Terms of, in terms of diversity, it wouldn't be a problem if they were telling everybody's stories. So. Mm -hmm. The reason everyone's so fixated on that is like Hollywood is dominated by celebrities and stars that look this way. Mm -hmm. But when you niggas was gassed off Black Panther because no one's seen such a big budget movie that was just with an all black cast, black director, so on and so forth. Niggas yeah, was hyped. Yeah, you know what I mean? Fact. When you look at something like Crazy that's Rich Asian, crazy. that was an Asian story. But that's part of diversity in Hollywood is of telling course, more stories. But what I'm saying is niggas are telling different stories. Like, and I mean, I feel like now that they're realizing. Life has been eating for an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> Yo, I was, I was watching, I was like, how's he still eating? He's got to take it slow. But, Yo, y'all watch, watch The Lone Survivor? I haven't seen that. the movie. Ah, yeah, that shit was fire. Dead fire. Yeah. I actually watched the interview with Son though, like the nigga that the, um, that made it out. Shit is, shit is dope, Son. I just, to them what niggas, is that about? Four niggas get dropped off in fucking Jalalabad somewhere, or some shit to do a fucking some impossible shit that they wasn't supposed to make it out. Yeah. They um they on this real crazy scaled hill like with with, with shale, so you know the rocks that you break off while easy. They hiding because they got a they got a spot like a um a bad guy. Long story short, they and they gotta identify him and then take him with them, kill him or take him with them. They waiting for the call. They got bad reception. Some goat herders see them niggas. They have to make a decision like right oh, that's there. That's the one with Mark Wahlberg. Mark yeah. Wahlberg. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was lit. Smoke smoke these niggas. Um, the lone survivor. Oh, that was lit. Kill these niggas or let them go. Yeah, it's oh it's oh it's like 2012 or some mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. Kill these niggas or let them go. Yeah. Niggas like, yeah, yo, we, they did that. But two of them niggas was with it. Like, listen, dog. You gotta clean them. They backed the fucking, um, like, a uh, radio out. What you think the radio's for? To alert niggas. He ain't about to call his mother, man. Yeah, yeah. He's gotta. trying to tell the ta Taliban niggas. You gotta, like, what? Yeah, you gotta. There's no other way. That's it. They did the, 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 you know what I'm saying? Everybody died except one. Long story short, because they let them go. Yeah. And them niggas slaughtered them, like, bad, too. It was bad. It was. I just watched Terminal List. Yeah, Terminal List was hard. That's oh, really good. Pause. You know what's good? It's really good. Um, I Did you know at the end it was going to be sung? No. Hell no. Hell no. Fuck no, nigga. That was a it's great joint. A really movie good. called 13 Hours. I think it's Soldiers. 13, 13 Hours. Soldiers of Benghazi. Benghazi. John, John Krasinski was in that shit? That shit was awesome. That shit was fire. I wouldn't say fire. It was, it was I. Nah, that fuck. shit was fire. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> that shit was fire. I'm sorry. I feel like it was better than Lone Survivor. Like Lone a match. Survivor was lit. <laughs> and then it goes away. Lone Survivor. It was better than. I feel like it was better than Lone Survivor. I now, see either. I'm not going to hold you. Lone Survivor, the parts where them niggas had to jump off the cliff 
when them niggas ran down on them was was crazy because it's uh, like this nigga got saved at the end by the opposite opposing niggas from the Taliban. They just grabbed him because he was American, brought him in a village, and was like, fuck y'all niggas, what's popping? To fight the Taliban for this American nigga. What you mean? Ain't a better story than that. You sound crazy, my nigga. What? I'm saying it's better. Dead got it popping. They got him on the ledge about to do the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of that wilding mm -hmm. with the knife out on his back of his neck. Like, yeah, we about there. And they let him go. Nigga said, so you going to die for this, man. I hope y'all know that. So whatever, nigga. Fuck out of here. And suck something, too. You heard? Oh, and we out here. I didn't see that fuck. Yeah, that's the director's cut. You got to see it. My face started really weird. He started turning up at the end. See? I knew it. I knew you ain't watched the right one. That's why. He told them niggas, look, man, fuck out of here. You lucky. You know what I'm saying? I caught your wife the other day over there by the shit. Niggas, you know what I mean? You, you just be thankful. All that shit in Arabic. Um, some of it. It was like <laughs> broken English. <laughs> Fuck out of here, my nigga. Mashallah. Son, you heard? Son, broken the Arabic. Benghazi shit is, you know, they yeah. was talking about it with Hillary Clinton it's for regular. like fucking years with though. Yeah. So the so the story of the soldiers, there was like basically they weren't even soldiers, they were mercenaries hired by the CIA to protect like like some type of outpost or some shit. And then they found out through whatever news that there was like uh was some type of rebellion or riot or whatever. And the city started falling apart, and they had no backup because niggas didn't really even know they were there. So it was like, I think it was like eight niggas that basically had to fight like a whole fucking city or some shit. It was like a true story. Shit was valid. Eight niggas fighting the city or four niggas fighting the city? What's, what's more illa? <laughs> Nigga, this shit is done. Break it down that the way. shit is done. That's it. It's and one nigga story. make it out. He breaks it down that and way. And they was bugging. Please go back and watch it. Dog. The shit was valid. The nigga so Low ill. Low survival still lit. I'm just saying. It's not still lit. The nigga is so ill. Yeah. One of the guys that died, they have, the shit is called, you ever heard of the Murph? It's a challenge, nigga. Yeah. Mike Murphy. That's what it's named oh, after. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. there's nobody in the Benghazi. Niggas don't know one of their names. Yeah. Name one. Go ahead. Son, I it name was, all four it was of these a niggas. whole government blunder. You see They're not what I'm saying? The lone survivor nigga, they paraded that nigga around as a hero. Now, the Was that the guy who survived niggas, Murph? No. Yeah. Murph oh. died, and he's still the illest yeah. nigga yeah. ever. Yeah. The nigga that Murph taped is his that hand you got the fitness thing, you got to run like yes. yeah. how many yeah. miles, yeah. 100 push-ups. That was the nigga that had that. to tape his hand after he no. got fucked up? See? There was a nigga in the movie that, like, I don't know what He was the radio operator, like, to like try to get the um service and shit. To try to tell them, yo, we need help. Y'all niggas dropped us off in the middle of hell. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's lit. These, it's four million of them niggas gun busting, and they killed mad at them. They did. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, it was crazy well, how hurt shot in the head and kept fighting. Nigga, yeah. yeah, he was a gangster. That was crazy. Axe, that's yeah, axe. Yeah, that was crazy. Hit him in the head. Yo, did these niggas really shoot me in my head? Yeah. Oh, man, what my shit at? Like, <laughs> like yo, yeah, was fine. he's a fucking gang member, my nigga. Them niggas was gangsters. Man, nah, was like, what? Uh, them the niggas was dumb tough. Big guys, you niggas was ah. Oh no! Matter of fact, that was I got the yeah, wrong nigga. Yeah, I was exactly. Say the thing. Exactly. Um, yes. There was a movie about the sniper nigga. <laughs> yeah. That's that's um American sniper. American sniper. Fire. Son. Fire. So he Chris Kyle. All, he survived all that. Got shit. home and a nigga killed him. Yeah, that was so that corny, was my nigga. I wanted to punch vet, the screen. A vet yeah. killed him. And he was helping niggas. Yeah. He, he was, was going helping. every day to the like the vet. The, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like to go help them. The, um, what's it called? The, the VA. VA. Yeah. Vet, you know what I'm saying? To go help them. And one of the, they got his address. Nothing to do with, like, because he was supposed to be, like, on the watch list from them niggas forever because he yeah. killed their best sniper ever. Like my man that killed Bin Laden. He's yes. on the, the hit list. O'Neal. O'Neal, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's on that. So everybody always thought, every time he left the crib, it's a fucking, it's a chance that he don't make it home. Yeah. And it was from a nigga just, just a little, like, Little, Sick yeah. from being home. You feel me? Yeah. Shit is so corny, man. But that was a hero, my nigga. Like, yeah. he killed their best nigga. That's why. He's a hero? Chris Kyle. Not the nigga that killed. I'm saying Chris Kyle was a hero. No? Uh, not to me. Yeah. My nigga, what you mean? They was killing his friends. He said, I ain't giving up till I get him. That's a hero. I'll be honest. I'll Somebody do something to me and y'all niggas get him. Right. You're a hero. I'll nigga. be honest. I watch a lot of the movies, the military movies, and I feel like they gas up the white man, but... It's, it's Nine no times out of ten, I watch it and I'm like, damn, y'all on and y'all in their crib, y'all yeah. on there. It shouldn't be happening. In their hood, 
However, killing it. women, children, raping. It's, it's wild. Ain't they raping? Ain't raping? Ain't raping? Don't do that. Don't do that. Salute to the military, man. Y'all niggas, you wild. Salute to the military. Yeah, it's necessary, nigga. But a lot of they ain't raping, on. nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? Be I pop. Pop. Niggas I huh? I pop. Be niggas on it like that. I don't yeah. know them niggas. That's what I'm saying. Got it. That's crazy. <laughs> they roll up in other niggas. It seems like they so loyal and so like sometimes maybe it's popping. I'm not. Maybe that's happening. It's a lot of shit going on. That's all. What I'm saying is, it seems like these niggas are so regal at times because. Because like, why the fuck, if you raping, which is the worst act that can happen, right? Single worst shit in the, in That's the, in the world. That's where you can get away with it. If you're doing that, how the fuck are you not killing niggas to survive? They had to be killing people. Hold on. Do you see what I'm saying? Those four niggas, the goat herders, yeah. they had to die in order for us to live. Yeah. yeah. If those same niggas are actually raping shit, there is no reason to rape. This is the most unreasonable act I can think of. Yeah. So but you're saying they that they could. can't do it because they're... I'm saying if you're that style of nigga that you're raping, yeah. how are you also not killing shit just to survive? I can't get home if I don't kill these niggas. This is a guaranteed oh, chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. American soldiers are doing yeah. that. Those are the American soldiers, what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. So why are they not killing these four niggas? I wouldn't. I'm not going to say they're raping. I, right. I, I don't hear that saying. morality thing. Uh, I get I'm what you're saying. So I'm what kind of they're... morale is that? I don't know. So I don't yeah. think they're raping niggas. That being said. Niggas? <laughs> Hold on, man. I don't mean like that. Wait a you minute. Know what I mean. I said <laughs> they're not raping anybody. Jeff is wilding. They're not raping. Oh, Jeff was wilding. You right. Jeff was raping the soldiers. Yeah, he was. Nigga was bringing niggas to... Yo! You always full circle with you. What I'm saying is they're not raping anybody. You mad good at this shit, son. Why are you talking about gay shit so much, man? (laughs) Hold on, I'm just saying you got a lot of that shit on your mind, son. You got money on your mind, son. What's up with you, man? That's what they're going to say next. You know, that's an ill concept. That's an ill concept because you can't argue it back. So when they say, you know what? You can't. So they say, yo, what? If, if y'all don't like that stuff, yeah, why y'all sure. talking about that so much? And what you want to say? There's no, there's no answer. You it's can't. Niggas are going to show up Then they're going to say you gay, son. And the now you gay. You might as well just be gay. The building's ashes. The building's ashes. You're burning the building down? Because you gay? No. We still fuck with you. Nah, pass you the boot. Nah, I gotta go. I gotta go. And you can't say pass you the boot after you just got came out. Pause, that's crazy. I gotta be on camera. I gotta be on camera. No, turn this off. Turn this off. Get that nigga face on the camera. Yo, you just came out to us, Pause. You can't say pass the boot. That's crazy. What? So this is insane. Like, you just told us. We got dry You just way. told us. This shit is crazy. Nigga, we love you, Reg. Nah, don't do that. <laughs> we no, love you, man. Reg. Yeah, you're like our brothers, yeah. my nigga. Okay. Don't. Please. <laughs> is it still he him? Because I got nothing but respect for you, my nigga. That's a tough road you traveling down. Boy, that's crazy. Burn shit down. Don't burn anything. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, pro- prophylactics, please, my nigga. Pause. Don't be burning nothing. Nah, no, 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 no. Sit down, man. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. But wait. Shit's outrageous. But pop. Going back. Shit's fucking my spirit. Go oh, back. <laughs> I gotta go. Sizzle in your spirit. Sizzle in your spirit. It's crazy. Yo. Real talk though. Country Wayne. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. What? Nothing wrong with what? There's nothing wrong with like niggas that live like whatever. Niggas like what they like. Oh, I just said. I'm glad that you like that, man. No, I don't. I, I feel not, like I feel the opposite I do way. I don't pause, but <laughs> do, do your thing. Listen, Nathan country, like country like, Wayne I don't look like that. Country Wayne is piping diamond, um, Lisa Ray, and I just feel like oh, congrats to him, diamond from Players, Players Club. Players Club. So oh, what I I'm saying you is diamond from the knuck if you bust. So him. if that's what's happening, there's just really no no <laughs> there's just no reason that we not lit. It just doesn't make any sense. We should be way more further in our careers than we supposed to be right mm-hmm. here. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, oh, comment, all that other shit. I don't know what he got so going he got on, lit, but he got lit off the Facebook. Lisa Ray. He gotta be early. Lisa Ray. Wait. Salute to son. No hate older? whatsoever. I'm happy well, for him. Yeah. What I'm saying is, he does a great job. Lisa Ray. You feel me? You see, Country Ray got lit at 50. Hey, man. Yeah, he was, he was late. Oh, so we got a par for 13 more years. <laughs> at least. For free. <laughs> That's it. Oh. Country Wayne yeah, isn't 50. 13? No, just ask him all. He can't be 50. Yeah, yeah, he gotta be late 40s. Hey, man. Like I said, my nigga. Because he used to mess with Jess Hilarious. I don't think he's 50. Should we ask the people what they want? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, who cares what they want? Wow, nah, nah, he nah. look uh, older than I... They, it's saying he's 34. That must be his industry age. It's not going to be Pop Vash, it's going to be Popovich. Y'all better get Greg Pop over here, because I'm not going to be here for the, the episode, whatever the nigga's number y'all talking gonna about. It's going to be Skinny Pop. Yeah, yeah, one of them other niggas, pop. man. Shit. Oh, man. Is it just me, or does Shiggy look like Detective Shakima Greggs? 
from the wire. Oh my god. <laughs> yes or no? Yes or no? I don't see it. He does. Does he? That's crazy. I would have to see a picture again. Yes or no? Watch the wire so long. Yo, hold on, hold on. Detective Shakima Gregs. Does Shiggy look like a no? Yes or no? Detective Shakima Gregs. From the wire. Yes. No, I remember exactly who she is. Stop. The, the Wait a oh minute. My God. Is that a bad word? Can you cannot that? call <laughs> these women bull daggers on camera, my nigga. What are you doing? Oh, my bad. The what the lesbian. fuck is wrong with you? Oh, man. My bad. God. Can somebody bleep that? What are you doing? Oh, Edit I didn't point. know it wasn't PC. My bad. That ain't Shiggy. Nigga, you sound crazy. I can see it a little bit. My son Shigster, man. I don't know why that related. just happened in my mind. I don't know why that happened just now. That's crazy. That's like Shiggy. However, man, salute to you, man. And yeah, you, don't and do you. that. Yeah, don't. Please don't. Uh, don't we got to, like... Where do we go from here? Don't we have to say something about that? No. About no, what? No. About what? About that he... Nah. His announcement. Oh, no? Oh, all right, wait, wait. I thought that... Because you see, I thought they, like, release, release balloons or some shit. We should normalize this stuff. You see, he said Jerome come out, come out, like, four times when people kid. Yeah, we got to normalize Oh, you got to get you a card again, I think. <laughs> and do a stand-up special. With no buttons and leave it open. <laughs> uh, Salute to Reg, man. <laughs> Love, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know how to react to this. I'll be honest with you. I don't know how to react. You're protected now. Though. Yeah, it's, nah, it's... Oh, man. He's 70% there, it's, my nigga. So now we super good. good. Insulated. I can't cancel it. We insulated. Uh, since Amar is back, we also bring back YBW. That's a fact. Uh, in Portland, there's a guy who's on city council uh, who has wow. been caught saying nigger, all kind of racial shit to people. Oh, yeah. And they want to ban him from city council, not for saying the derogatory terms, mm. but because he's trying to run for mayor also, and that's against the rules. Wow. And that's a rule that he he actually he, started. He voted on. He voted. But trying to go for the loophole because he's a writer. Yeah. Mm. So he's saying because I'm a writer and I should be able to. I'm not standing down. They like. Yeah. But you, you signed off on the bill. So, but he well, should be. I able know to, I did, but I'm not going to. He should be able to skip that because. Wow. So he's exempt. The white. That's the. That's the. I don't even care about the slur. Yeah. Or that he called his biracial neighbors effing porch monkeys. Oh. He's also screamed out racial porch Niggas don't even have a porch. It's prompting the city of Portland to ask that's the judge. Yeah, that's old school. Said, I know I said it. To step but... down from the council. Rather, that's it's what like he said the to the racism. Yeah. investigates yeah. about yeah. his future that's plans that's as a politician. That's that good. Yeah, that's, 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 that's Turner Classic movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they didn't even have closed captions for that back then. Yeah. Pure. Yeah, that's primo. <laughs> Primo. Yeah. Yeah. Uncut rig. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. But I just don't understand like the the Jerry Miranda ring. <laughs> like, that's gerrymandering, right? Ain't that? I don't know what the fuck that is. Nah, gerrymandering, like when you're trying actually... to like switch positioning. It's a, a little gerrymandering it's a little is different. when they huh? play around with this. That's the word. Yeah. It's a little different. Gerrymandering? Gerrymandering is a little different. Word? Like Red said, it's, it's more change. It's redistricting. Yeah, when they, when they, okay, like, okay, okay. So it's, but it's in the same positioning. It is. It, it is. It, yeah, it's gotcha. all political. Did you see son that got caught with the black, with the, um, with the Ku Klux Klan shit? Nah. He's like a, some political, um... Uh, refugee from Cuba. <laughs> you ain't see that? Nah. The nigga, um, he got the Ku Klux Klan shit on, mm. and he's like a, um, you ain't see that. Come nah. on, my nigga, that gotta come across your the desk. Nigga. Pause. Come on, son. What happened? It's a, it's a Ku Klux Klan man. Yeah. That's now he's like a hired in some form of city councilman. Yeah. And they caught him. It's clear him. Yeah. And he's trying to argue it like before. They don't fire him. They try to put him on some type of leave. Yeah. Of administrative, some type of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some easy shit. Probationary period. Yeah. And he's a full blown Klansman. And got him in the joint. He got the he got like he got ranked too. He got like the stripes. Okay, I'm not surprised like, by that. I feel like a lot of that shit Neither. pause goes deeper than we know. Yeah. Double pause. Word. I got chill because of these just, accusations. You just pulled these vicious rumors. You got chill out. <laughs> but you're not allowed but, to say pause no more. You just say, you know what I'm saying? Just live your life. Nah, what are you talking about? Take charge. Pause is for everyone. <laughs> pause is for everyone. For the kids. Are we are we finished? Because I, I, I can't I can't live like that. I can't take it. I can't live like that. <laughs> so, so we don't know like you don't know who the members are. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we might low key react to some shit expecting niggas to get mad or do something about yeah. it, and they low key like nigga chill like what are you doing like yeah. you're supposed to keep that shit 
on the hush. Yeah. So I don't that's think it's ugly. that big of a deal to people. And yeah. if you're not black, we which can't is wow, I don't understand how that's not that big of a deal. We oh. can't. Though we don't know how niggas even react to sh- this shit behind the scenes because they don't carry the same trauma connected to the hood that yeah. black people do. Mm. There's some people that look at the Ku Klux Klan as just like a, like an afterthought of like, oh, these silly niggas over here. They don't see any type of danger connected to that. I mean, they're notorious for killing. Yeah, and for some yeah. people, it's like trauma is different. How people have like frats in their family and like some people yeah, really wild. feel that way about yeah. the Ku Klux Klan. It's crazy. Damn. They don't make it's crazy because the root of it, the base known, is in hate. Oldest known domestic terrorist group. Yeah. yeah. And like <laughs> gangs, you can often find the root of it was to protect the community or do something like that. They started. Right. KKK started Whitewashing. On. Like, I yes. don't want anyone else around. Like, you know what I'm saying? But you got to look at like, um, I forget who made the point originally, but the Hells Angels are a gang. But they mm-hmm. sell merch. They're sort of yep. romanticized. And they're not allowed to go to jail. And yeah. Snoop is going to be the only crip that don't go yeah, do some, t- some time. That shit is wild. Everybody else goes, though. Like, it's the That's truth. True. My nigga, shit right. makes so sense. There are cultural things that are regular to, I mean, to us that, like, to them is not that big of a deal. I thought that's why he switched to Snoop Lion because I thought they was on his ass. Create some was, space. I thought they were trying to distance himself. I cannot be a creep if I'm a lion. You know what I'm saying? I figured, <laughs> I, I figured my soul was trying to put. And then he did gospel after that. That's what I'm saying, son. Mm. Oh man. Um, and yeah, and we I'm... at fault for Lil Wayne doing that fucking rock album too because Please oh. Don't Shoot Me Down was hard and it came out well. So he figured he'd do a whole album of those type of cuts. Damn, I don't remember. So, I don't remember. Please don't shoot me. Down. You remember How to Love? How to Love was another one off that one. Now that, that please out. don't shoot yeah, me yeah, down. Yeah. Ding, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ding, ding, that, was, that was hot. That was that fire. Was fire. How to Love fire. was a good song, too. Though. I didn't fuck with How to Love. What was really? the thing he did I mean, with Robin like Thicke? I think it was before that. That Robin Thicke shit was crazy, too. Tie yeah. my hands. Pause. Mm-hmm. I, which is crazy, because what you singing with this nigga about tying your hands, that's wild. However, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Salute to y'all community and shit. You got to chill. That <laughs> wasn't hold on, hold on. the name of the song. Hold on, hold on. Yes, it was. That wasn't the name of the song What's the name of the song? Oh, I don't remember the name of the song. Shooter. It was, it Shooter. was Robin Thicke's song. Oh, that was fire, yeah. too. Shooter was dope. But I'm talking about the Tie My Hands shit was, I, was, Shooter was dope. Like, what's yeah, the problem with Shooter? Shooter? Fine. What's wrong with Shooter? Nothing is wrong oh. with it, but I'm just saying, like, the success of the song emboldened him just to your point. Nah, points. but not to make a rock album. The rock album shit was the Please Don't Shoot Me Down shit was, it was like a rock and roll. I feel like Shooter was like a rock thing when like, no, 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 Shooter no, was no, hard. Was R&B like the R&B guitar R&B. shit, because he started playing oh, the guitar. Oh, it was the guitar in it at the end. Yeah. He started doing the guitar Stop shit. Stop being really rapper racist. Switching haters. Yeah. Behind like, door. Like, it was not a lot of guitar. <laughs> and then it was it's like... It's not crazy. racist. He it. says that. Yeah. That nigga said, behind door. <laughs> Truck fit. Is that racist? <laughs> they don't know how sick you make us. I want to blow up like chips in Vegas. He was wilding. That's That part right there was crazy. Yeah. Nigga. Oh, my God. <laughs> Truck my fit. Bird. Yeah, I'm uncomfortable, my nigga. You out here <laughs> bubbling at the mouth? Pause. I the drank. F- this is no, 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 sparkling no. water. Yeah, yeah. It was supposed to start hey, sparkling. No, it ain't Pana, bitch. Wait, let, let Darnell get that other wife to you off. So start sparkling. In other words, I'd be looking at you. Uh, a Tennessee. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. A Tennessee. I was, re- I was ready to go after the, after the cultural shit. After and the announcement. It's so crazy because I can't defend myself. No, nah, no, nah, you can't. The episode looks crazy. You can't. A Tennessee a school resource <laughs> officer or something like that? Like one yeah. of the school officers That's all wrong. grabbed uh, a black child by the neck and dragged him down the bleachers. Wait, what? what? Oh, yeah, I didn't hear 18 year old kid was uh, 18. refused to participate is- in soccer. 18. Sat down on the bench and then went and played basketball. The teacher didn't like it, called the security school office. Resources. School resources. School resources. A little bit, but. I mean, I knew mad kids that was 18. No, what I'm saying is that at 18, now you're an adult, my nigga. Yeah. Don't, don't stand for that. No, here's the thing. Yeah. To that point, if I'm 18, yeah. how are you trying to force me to do anything? I mean, at any, 18, at any how age, are you dragging me at down any the age, place? if I'm a student in here, I just what don't understand. For me, avoiding a, 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 a sport, a cop, it was yeah. twice his size. Yeah, like I just don't understand, but you still don't stand for that. 18, like, fam. If you can't fight, it was, you can't it was fight. It was an hour. Well, why can't it was an hour of. I don't understand that. He couldn't. Why is a cop dragging him over? Yeah, I don't understand that. And that's that's the problem. It ain't. 
Yeah, the, the problem the problem is defend p- the problem is being physical at all. Yeah, exactly. The issue with me is what I'm saying is I don't understand why can't you fight back with you? What does well, that no, mean? No, he wasn't going to win is what I'm saying. Hey, man, why not? not? Exactly Nigga, what, that, what does that mean? I'm saying watch you it. You sound crazy. I don't want to see that to be honest. The crazy I part is yeah, the kid. But why is there a cop dragging him for his choice in after school activity? That's, that's, that's the, the problem. Pro- I don't get that. When you see the video, you see that the kid actually had the presence of mind to say like how unfair it is, how the cop was being aggressive, so forth and so on. Right. Yeah. But you know how it is when you fuck with that white pride, that white ego, yeah. especially as a smart, intelligent black person, yeah. that shit infuriates them. I I do, that, son. All of that exactly. shit. No. Why is no, there a cop fuck. there? Like I'm not understanding. Where That's the, I know when I when, when I know my rights uh, and all of that. That shit gets them yeah. niggas mad, son. Yeah, 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 he was he was tight. That's so the, the cop was about. just chilling in the school, or he was called to the school. The he was called to the. Of the he's a, no, no, no. He's always in, he's the, the SRO, office. which is the school resource officer. They always have a, a cop on duty. Just roaming the hallways. Yeah, it's Tennessee. Teacher got into a whatever argument. Call a nigga. Call the school resource there, officer. He, he just grabs there. his hair. Nah, it was an hour of now, back and forth. And forth. Yeah. Oh yeah, but son, Which you makes it worse. You do gotta peep the signs though. Yeah, especially at eighteen. It's a fact. Let me let me just go ahead and remove myself because you wildin'. I'm sure the white nigga was spitting and pink, and you know they turned pink after Which a while. Is probably why he sat on the bleachers. Yeah, yeah. All that yelling and screaming and shit. You gotta be like, you know what, fam? You got it, big dog. This isn't worth it anymore. And I, I can already see I'm not gonna win this argument. You feel the way you feel. I can't change your mind. You know what I'm saying? However, I'm not victim blaming whatsoever. Son is dead ass wrong. Mm. I'm just saying from our standpoint, my nigga, it don't matter how wrong they are. We don't win usually. So we have to just remove ourselves when we get a chance. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Right? Who's victim blaming? I'm not blaming anybody. Not at all. I'm blaming that nigga for putting his hands on the 18-year-old. The, the, the yeah. However, at 18, you kind of have to have a sound mind, man. You got to peep it. Look at the signs. They called him not to talk to you about anything kind, nigga. Mm. He pulled up, wild aggression. We talking for an hour. Mm-hmm. Them white niggas ain't trying to debate with you no more, man. It's go time. For real. Right? So do you not see what I'm saying? It's time to move? I see what you're saying. The cops being in the school. You don't agree with that? problematic. I don't think he was doing anything wrong. He's and not, just, nigga. Yeah, we're not and saying I, that. Unfortunately, that's the problem. He's not doing anything wrong. But however, it's... It's for you to prove later. Yeah. Right. But you also Nigga, gotta... they already gonna make their move. They made their mind up before when he got the call, he ran over there with excitement and glee. Like, yeah. No, but he's already time. in the school. And when I you put understand him that, my nigga, but he's in the school already. That's not gonna change. What I'm saying is he was called to that scene. Right. Right? He was called to the gymnasium or whatever shit, resource room or whatever they call it nowadays. Mm-hmm. I know y'all had the helmets and shit by the side. <laughs> the... Helmet length. Is it... So, <laughs> so the thing is, them niggas aren't, niggas expect police officers to be whatever, like, he had no reason to even be at the school. I don't understand why no, I wouldn't. There. I wouldn't agree with that. It's so fucking he, kids. He had a ramp on his school, too. No, no, no. I did. It was a ramp on his shit. <laughs> oh, you were saying helmet because of? Helmet lane. Oh. Fire. Okay. So. Because <laughs> like, of math. Man, this was this is Tennessee, and we know we've had a. <laughs> Not at all. Don't do that. Don't do that. I would never use that word. Uh, Does it make sense? Yeah, it's I believe in you, Reg. But, I'm not so smart. Nah, <laughs> I believe in you, Reg. Don't do that. Just Don't do to, that. Just to go back to what you said about how you have to have a presence of mind and know yes. it's go time, right? You don't know that kid's experiences up until 18. Yeah. Right? He could have had a life where he did. So now he knows after that. Yeah. And unfortunately, it took that. But it's, that could have been his friend. He's still long, really young. How long is a white nigga that you said is substantially larger than you and in a position of power, right, mm-hmm. with a gun on him, mm-hmm. how long do you stand there and argue, even if you're winning the argument or you think you have the winning ingredients mm-hmm. to this argument? Said argument isn't going your way if this nigga is not backpedaling or fading away an hour in. Right. And the, the crazy and part... I, the, I don't have an hour of argument for any niggas, man. The kid didn't even stand up. No. He was sitting down the entire I time. I get it, I get wild. it, but it's time... Now, that might have been on some frozen and fear shit. So, yeah. And I understand, whatever, uh, uh, dog, but I got to get to safety. This I agree with you. This is unsafe. And and I think it's, wild. it's a lesson it's that he learned, unfortunately. He I know, learned it's it the just wrong so way. whack, son, but at 18, nobody this feels... Place. Like, think oh. about it. When they see it and they see it's 18, nobody feels that shit went out the window. Like, yeah. all your sorrows went out the window as soon as you heard it. Even us. No, nah, nah, I didn't think. I didn't feel that way. 
Go. Even us at eighteen, it's not like he may not oh have had that God. that talk though, Pa. He may not have had that that conversation with somebody to tell him this is what you need to do in these situations. Son, you don't know that. That's a lot of that don't know that. That's true. That's a lot of black kids. Some people don't be telling. Like, what if his pops ain't around? We, we had this conversation about Somebody's the kid. Telling you how to- not true. Alpha, not that's true. Not crazy. Not hundred percent. Like not hundred percent. Especially we, down there. Maybe it's like yeah. regular. Like and part of the problem me? is we keep putting we keep putting the problem. I'm saying. Who so, put the problem on them? That's not. But what I'm, I'm saying like niggas are like oh niggas didn't have this talk with them fam. There's niggas no not, reason. It's, 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 it's there's no reason. Talk, my nigga, you don't even have to have this talk with your children. All right, you're very passionate right now, so I'm gonna let you see. You can look anywhere and see this. You're very passionate right now. Am I bugging? No, no, you're not bugging. Not, not at all. You're not bugging, but so what I'm saying is, is not it your is friend. Great I, I understand. Security is not your friend. I Maybe understand. It's different for you. But, Maybe but culturally, culturally, my nigga the niggas. Always. Is right. always. Did part you of life. smoke enough? Like, like, what's going on? Nah. What's going on with you right now? It was the popcorn. Can you relax? It's the popcorn. It's the popcorn. Word. I understand. I understand, but you're saying shocking content. Shocking content. So, first of all, like, you, we don't know how he was raised. We don't know what his experiences were. The nigga was in Tennessee. We don't know if it was all white school or whatever it is. Like there are kids that grow up a certain way and they haven't necessarily had the traditional black experience. And Poor. we can't really Poor. That's what it is. So we can't, no we can't, police. We can't really we can't really speak. Pigs in a blanket, nigga. Now, that's what it is. When, when we're talking <laughs> about when we're talking about the cop being there, you have to imagine like <laughs> This nigga has no reason to be in this fucking school. They're kids. Like, I don't understand why there's not a security I, I, guard again, there I or whatever I would it disagree is. with that, Reg. This, We've had a rash of school shootings and stuff. Yeah, they yeah. Schools are put Okay, in but if we're talking about there. studies and statistics, a police officer in the school doesn't negate that or stop the school shootings at all. Them niggas don't even go in it. There was a police shooting, nah, and there was a cop on. there, and them niggas just chilled. A lot of them left, like... It doesn't really. The niggas was a running difference. from your man in Texas. You yeah. Oh yeah. They yeah. was yeah. running from officers so, and security yeah. guards. Niggas was police, nigga. That's the, crazy. And they was violating the, the parents that was trying to help their kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah nah, This is a fact. When they have yeah, like nah. police officers in the schools, they dispro- uh, disproportionately like basically I get, you affect know what, the black students. The black students get arrested. No, the crazy. black students are treated like yeah, criminals. No, you're right. But just like the world, they're all not built. It's like. That's what I'm saying. Not yeah, I don't everybody. understand why it's any different anywhere else. Everyone knows that. I, not everybody's I understand I'm a, that. Nigga, I'm not on your side. Built. Relax, my nigga. People take that job, and not everybody's Combative built. cops. You know what I'm saying? Man, like, yeah, you, you have to understand, it. like, these Stay niggas blue. have no place, to, like, in the school whatsoever. <laughs> then blue line. They're not. They're not. <laughs> well, again, we, not do, we do need a... I'm, 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 niggas shouldn't have been there in the first place. We do need a way to try to prevent some of the things that are happening in these schools, like school shootings. We don't want to arm the teachers, obviously. Ted right. Cruz don't Salute think. to all the kids, man. Hope y'all have a great school year. Safe That's everybody fact. nationwide. All the speaking, kids, man. Every, there is a solution. Niggas just don't want to do it. So we're just talking in circles. What's the solution? All the school shootings were done with guns that were procured legally. So what's the solution? Like make it more make a mandate would make it more difficult for people to get guns. Okay. Like that the people happen. that are acquiring guns to do too anything much money criminal that. That aren't never shooting up schools. That's a fact. That'll never happen. Nah, so then they're gonna make it more so difficult. So then we're to just done talking soon. about nothing. What are we gonna do? The, the solution is right there, but we're like, we don't want to do that. Does anybody else have anything better? That's the solution. That's a fact. That'll happen. Yeah, I don't think they... Niggas That'll like, happen. but what about my gun? Nigga, like, what are you doing That's with the it? Thing. So you kids got getting it, shot though. up is worth you going to a shooting range to pretend you're a fucking tough guy? <laughs> All right, Rich. That's the so, second time you I'm, just, I'm not <laughs> disagreeing with you. Second time in a hundred episodes? Nah, today. Oh, oh, I was about to, I was today, about to say. Today, today, today. I was about to say, uh, you wild. Nah, nah, today. You wild. Because the Jake Paul, he killed that. Yeah. He was on his shit. Yeah. You wrote that, though, before. I didn't. <laughs> he killed that. We can tell. I, I did. It was perfect. All right. You phoned in that passion because you're mad calm right now. But... <laughs> Uh, nah, I can't that shit phoned insane. in the passion. Reg is wilding today. <laughs> He's going off. Yeah. He's going off. Yeah. 
security or whatever. Like, if you're young and black, you can do whatever you want. Like, and I've experienced it firsthand. That's why I feel this way, right? So I, I know, but I've spoken. I've spoken to other black people because I made a other joke once. <laughs> <laughs> I made a joke once. There were two He's other black, black niggas that he knows. Yeah. He's not black. I made a, Where's my African American at? <laughs> the great total niggas in the couch. Them niggas. <laughs> those. That was. Well, that was them boo, niggas. Boo, boo, boo. Hey, motherfucker. <laughs> them niggas. Uh, Josh, Josh, turkey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> motherfucker. I so like, I was hey. talking. Niggas got fishbone pumps and all that. Hey, motherfucker. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> on the black hand side, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga friends with undercover this brother. This shit is fucking crazy. <laughs> Nigga friends with undercover brother. That's mad funny. <laughs> with my fried chicken eating motherfucker. I was speaking to him and like I was, I forget, <laughs> I was making Look a at joke. Him, my African American. I was making, I was making a joke about uh, a taxi cab pulling up. Like you know when a cab pulls up behind you, you're not sure if it's a cop, mm. so you like freeze up for a second. I forget what the joke was, because mm. I remember having this conversation with my sister after the fact, and he had no idea what I was talking about. Mm. My experience... Is this a white person? No, he's black. My yes. experience as he's a black, black person is completely different than his, because I grew up here, and this nigga grew up in the valley somewhere, and they don't have cops out there. Depending on where you're at, for example, in L.A., you don't see cops once. I could be in L.A. for, like, a week and not see a single police officer. And so I go to a certain part, and then... All of a sudden, the niggas sprout up out of nowhere. Yo, it's eight lanes on each side of the highway. That's why them niggas get away with every murder. That's a fact. There's eight lanes. My nigga, it's too many fucking lanes. It's never no traffic shut down. That's why OJ was out of there. He took them niggas <laughs> mad long pause. Do you ever see the picture when OJ's I'll dipping? 30 cars 400 on. cops. That was the whole... OJ stopped for gas at all. Yo, the nigga Only gassed because it was OJ. Up. The 101 is actually some of the worst traffic in the world. My nigga, yeah, but there's the eight, worst it's eight traffic, lanes yo. and eight, 16 niggas at one time, back and forth. And they be <laughs> gridlock all the time. It's ridiculous, man. It's, it's like, too many niggas, They got man. the worst traffic in niggas. L.A. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's just it's insanity. Terrible. It's insanity, my nigga. <laughs> See, that's why you got to go to North Hollywood and all that. But, but like, the yeah, one thing we got to be careful of doing is we got to stop linking blackness to a certain experience. Not That's true. It, no, but no, we, we're not saying that because he's right about that though. Because everybody Black experiences is not a monolith. Different. That's, That's true. a fact. Very true. However, nigga, we know that regardless of you, don't have to go through it to know what's popping. Oh, you didn't have to. But I did. Yeah, we did. We all. Times. We've already did, did this. Both what I'm saying is. Police. What I'm saying is, even an 18 year old boy, just by knowing what's popping, you didn't even have to go through it or see it personally. You're, that's the truth. So his experience doesn't matter. We not we throw the experience out the window. You can look and see it every day. The mistreatment of people that look like me and you is just what it so is. So he spoke to the cop first? Uh, yeah, he was yeah. talking to the cop for an hour, nigga. Yeah. And then the cop dragged him And then the cop that. got yeah, frustrated with the talking because the nigga was fucking him up in the conversation. The debate was losing. And he said, you know what? You're not listening. Come here. And took him. He was like, yeah. And the nigga was still not, sitting not, down. Gonna, he posed zero threat. Arrest me. I just don't understand how it's how it's how it's like we got how. To, he because put, he, one, by the time he got to put the cuffs on him yeah. to escort him out of the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do we even need cuffs? Well, why when, do we even need cuffs? Well, I did not want to play soccer today, and I'm about to get arrested for not wanting to play soccer to go play because I play basketball. Make that make sense? Well, we you don't. Police, yeah. Being a police officer is like probably one of the most important jobs, like possibly, because you're giving a nigga, like a just a random a guy, boot. you're giving him a weapon and you're giving him mad power, right? Like, let me finish the point. No, there's no point there. <laughs> the like, most there important is a job. point. We gotta go. It's an important no, job. That point. That point. This is a good episode, though. So now you by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> just talk to yourself or, or call your black friend. That's <laughs> just crazy. Sound. What you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? What you thought? What you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? If you could change your thoughts, you could change the world. So much more to life than chasing diamonds, gold, and pearls.